quick check one two what is going on beautiful people welcome welcome back if you're just joining us you are watching an f-18 hornet just gone cold fully afterburner headed back to the carrier he was doing some air to ground stuff and got attacked by an enemy uh i think an enemy f-18 so you're seeing him make ev evasive maneuvering He's been dropping off his payload. He has been flaring like crazy. And I think he might have gotten away. There's a carrier right ahead of him. And he's now out of burner. Man, that was that was intense. That was real intense. Well, as I said, what's up, guys? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. It's your boy Blue. We are in DCS World, and we're gonna do one simple thing. Blow stuff up. So if you're down to watch me blow some stuff up, or attempt to blow some stuff up, that is the plan. If you want to join us, we are on DCS World um, 4YA Syria server today. And today I have with me, who's going to be my wingman for the flight, Mr. Data Jack. Say hello. What's going on, people? Yeah, so he'll be flying with, along with me in the F-18. We're currently sitting on the uh, carrier deck. Um, I'm actually kind of want to wait and watch this guy and see if he comes in the land. What's up, Drip Dog? Welcome to the stream. Simply Roger, welcome aboard. Good to see you guys. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Happy Friday to you. Hope you guys are having a great, blessed day so far. It's uh, I feel like my day is really just getting started. I just got home, and this is really the first thing I'm doing today. <laughs> uh, and then. Hey. Ship, yeah. Ships are engaging the uh, JF-17. He's turning and burning. Really? Let's go see that. Yep, JF-17 coming in. Oh, he's, he's turning. about to get hit. About Let's to get see. splashed. Here he comes. Oh, he missed it. He missed? The, the missile missed. Yeah, he, he dodged it. Now he's That's... turning back into the 18th. Man, this guy is hungry. He sure is. So, enemy, this is an enemy JF-17. Uh, who's actually trying to attack our ships right now, but our ships are fighting back. F-18's turning around to engage. Uh-oh, here we go. Disco's turn around and engage. Oh, missile in the air. Missile in the air. Uh-oh. Missile in the air. He's flaring. Oh, oh no. is he gonna miss? Oh, oh he's no, he's hit. F-18's oh. got two missiles on him, though. He's not gonna make uh, the F-17. Yeah, actually, uh, the JF-17s, he's, he's Winchester. He has no more missiles on board. All right, let's go. Let's go grab him. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Initiating startup. Initiating startup. All right, my call sign is Comet. Uh, we have Data along with us. I'll be one. Your data will be two. So we refer to each other as one and two. I'll be flight lead for this flight. Um, I am going to go ahead and pull on... Um, let me see. We talked about earlier bringing seed, but what do you think about just bringing air to air for right now? Yeah, we could. We can take a couple of uh, we take a couple of harms if you want, just to have them in case. But yeah, because I just worry it's gonna weigh me down. <laughs> That's what I'm worried yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to go to air, I'm I'm definitely up for that. Let's make sure the picture is clear. Um, I'll feel more comfortable knowing that there's nothing nearby. So let's go strictly air to air for this first sortie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring limited AIM-120s just for the weight and I, ha I don't think I'm gonna use them all so I'm not gonna double them up. So I'm gonna have, uh, looks like six times AIM-120s. Wait, I had the wrong one. I got the Bravos. These are Charlies. There's a Charlie. So AIM-120 Charlie, AIM-120 Charlie, and AIM-120 Charlie. Beautiful. All right, we're starting up. Incoming. Copy. We are starting up. Again, if you guys are just joining us, we are in DCS World, Digital Combat Simulator. 
If you don't know what this game is, you have really been missing out. Let me get the audio figured out. This game is very loud. Just gonna have to readjust all my audio levels here. So don't mind me as I bring the sound down. There we go. Let me know in chat if you guys get any kind of echoes or any issues on your end. What's up, Damien Martez? Welcome to the stream. When can you do one of the default DCS 4A maps so I could fly with you? I figured out how to do air to air and bombing, but I need help in figuring out how to do GPS bombing and TV bombing. Um, I don't really commonly go to the default. Uh, I, by default, I believe you mean caucus map. I don't very commonly go there, um, just because yeah. we've been like caucus has been out since like DCS came out, and we're all kind of tired of it. <laughs> you know, like the ones the ones of us who've been playing DCS for years and years and years, like the caucus is such old news. Um, not to say we never go there, uh, we just don't go there very often. But um, hopefully, you could join us sometime. Uh, maybe you know, maybe you can pick up Syria or the Persian Gulf map when it comes on sale. Or, or even use a trial. I'm not sure if they trial the uh, the maps. Oh man, a butt kicker almost knocked my keyboard off. But uh, glad to see you getting uh, the hang of DCS. I always tell people pick an aircraft and pick a system <laughs> and start from there. And it sounds like that's exactly what you've been doing. So that is good. But yeah, once you get air to air figured out, go ahead and start watching some tutorials on air to ground, and you'll be you'll be good in no time. No elephant walks in the ter carrier. I'll try not to. 315 Camden. That's a very interesting name. But uh, hello, welcome to the street. You finally shot something? That's good as well. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, it's, it's one thing about DCS. I know Data can, can uh, confirm this as well. Uh, especially when you're early on. The first time you kill something or you shoot something with your jet is very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Chinook, welcome to the stream, man. Morning from New Zealand. What's up, man? What's up, Seth? One, two, three. Welcome to the stream. That's my butt kicker. <laughs> this is going to be, if it's going to be that loud in the microphone, this is going to be a very entertaining stream. You guys going to hear every gunshot from my butt kicker. And I have my noise gate turned on, but for some reason, it's still picking that up. Hopefully it doesn't overheat or anything like that but having issues with it um just connecting it overheating and stuff uh will i ever fly in vr um not uh, never say never but i don't i don't tend to stream flying in vr uh or gaming in vr because it's just not uh, it's in my opinion is not the nicest viewing experience for the viewer i've tried doing vr streams before and for one you know trying to share the screen of vr lowers the quality um, so the quality you guys see in stream is nowhere near the quality that I see in the headset. And so like you're kind of missing out on that element. And then I really can't see chat. So like I can't communicate and talk with you guys back and forth. And that's a big deal to me. So um, probably won't see me doing any DC, any uh, sh VR streaming in any game anytime soon. But I might do a VR video. So if you're inter interested in seeing VR videos, you can definitely see my channel about that. How are you looking, Data? I'm just about ready to go. Sweet. I am um, just finished startup. Let me go ahead and check again to make sure. Yeah, so that JF-17 has kind of uh, retreated back into safety. So uh, for the chat while Data's finishing up, here is the map. Again, this is the Syria map. Um, this is Cyprus right here. This is all Syria and whatnot. Uh, we are currently here on the Stennis carrier, and we're planning to head to the east over on the coast. And our main objective today is going to be Waypoint 11. That's this spot right here. Currently, there's a, a Reaper drone hovering, not hovering, but uh, orbiting around it to give us information and uh, GPS and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of targets there. Um, That's the last unit. You can now spawn there. We are um, not going to do that right now because we're all armed up for air to air. So we don't have the ammunition to drop on that yet. But I'm hoping if we can make it back safely without dying in this first run, um, to come back and pick up some air to ground weapons and then go back and attack waypoint 11 but that is our primary objective right now in this server obviously once we capture that we can move on to any waypoint we want we can do waypoint 12 waypoint 13 um, but right now we're going to focus on waypoint 11. so we got two f4s that are heading northbound at about 30,000 feet just to the east of waypoint 11 or whiskey 11 as we're going to refer to it 
And it looks like to me that they are kind of in route, in hot on a friendly group of F-16 and A-10s. So I, I know they're probably going down the waypoint 11 to do a air, air, air attack. So I think what we'll do is kind of in coordination with them is head out and give them some backup support. So I'm going to put in a whiskey 11 into the, um, uh oh, uh, in the cockpit. Is this is going to work. Hold on, let me fix my track IR. My head tracking. Okay, two's ready. Copy that. Uh, go ahead and um, you can take cat one. Two. Uh, chat, are you guys hearing data okay? Oh, there we go, that's what I wanted. All right, there he goes. So if you want to, you can go ahead and box in Whiskey 11, and we'll use that, use that as a reference. Yep, I already got it ready to go. Beautiful. All right, let me get rid of these chocks. Uh, salute, wheel chocks. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Let me uh, kill the music, too, because... Copy. It's time to get real. Real fake, I should say. Alright. HDMI, what's up, man? Long time no see. How you been, bro? How have you been? Alright. Black control check, that's good. Throttles are all working, that's good. Rudder. Huh. Rudder is not working. My rudder is plugged in, isn't it? Let's see. What to find out? Nope. Okay. Let me just look in some. Let me see what's going on. Yep, it's definitely not working because my toe brake's not working either. Uh oh. This is why we do flight control checks before flights. For this exact reason, uh, it should be. Yep, it's working now. All right. The question is, did it disconnect my track IR? It does that. I don't like that it does that. But whenever I disconnect something and reconnect it, it tends to knock off my head tracking. We'll see if it reset it or if it's still good. It's still good. All right. Cool. All right. I believe I am good to go. All right. I'm on the cat and waiting for you. Beautiful. All right. Coming up right behind you. I'll take cat two. I have bingo set for uh, 3,000. Uh, how many tanks you got? I didn't bring any. None? Okay. I, I brought one. I'll probably drop it after we take off. I'll keep it till we get there, at least yeah, for, the, for the extra fuel. Yeah. We're close to the carrier, and I'm sure there's a air-to-air -air, uh, refueler around here. Oh, somewhere. yeah, that's true. We do need to do an air-to-air -air refueling while, you're, while we got you with us today. I haven't done that air to air refueling in probably a couple months, so it'd be good for me to kind of do a refresher. Make sure I still got it, you know. Probably been that long since I've done it myself, <laughs> but I will go, we'll go for it. All right, I'm going to get uh, Whiskey 11, Away Point 11 locked in here. That's good to go. These guys are going to do their thing. Go ahead and drop our wings, spread them. Here they come. Oh, I love DCS. You gotta love DCS. I will drop our launch bar. Uh, HDMI trying out the new Miltech CH47D for Microsoft. Cool. Wait, there's a new Chinook for Microsoft? So I should tell chat, um, there has been an update to DCS since I've last streamed it and since uh, I've last played it, both of us, me and Data. 
reads that. And apparently they changed the flight model of the F-18 Hornet. So I honestly don't know what I'm um, getting into here, to be honest. I don't know what to expect. I haven't done any tests. This is my actual first flight with the new DCS F-18 flight model. Let me turn the pilot body on. I think we're good. Oh, cool. I got my, uh, my stuff down there. Lights don't need those. Flaps are good. Bingo fuel. We got the waypoint boxed in. All right, I think I'm good. Um, one's ready. Two is ready. Run them up. Run them up. For white. I'll let you know when I'm launching. All right, we'll uh, launch basically it together. So, on me. Three, two, one. Salute. <laughs> All right, we up. Gear up. Wow, show me 75 miles from Whiskey 11. It's farther than I thought. All right, watch my wake. I'm not sure if his server does that or not, but... All right, one's uh, rolling off to the left. I'll pull power back here. I'm at 350. Switch to barrel. Yeah, that sound you heard on takeoff was uh, the butt kicker. If you guys are not aware of what a butt kicker is, it's basically a device you attach to the bottom of your chair, um, and it just makes massive vibrations uh, based on what's happening in the game. And I use it for DCS, I use it for Microsoft Flight Sim, I use it for basically everything. Um, very popular to use for like racing as well. You can feel like the curbs and stuff. All right, still in the left turn. All right, you're with me. Yeah, two saddled on the left. Uh, is this base game? No. Uh, copy that, uh, two saddled. Um, no, this is, uh, the F-18 is an add-on to DCS World, um, as well as the carrier itself is also an add-on to DCS World. And then the, uh, the map we're on today is also an add-on. So... That's kind of how DCS works. Everything is basically an add-on. I right, roll it out. One's rolling out. And about to be in the soup. I'll continue to climb. I know the enemies are tend to be pretty high, so I want to get a good uh, a good look at them from a good 25,000 at least. I'm going to start speeding up. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm going to do 15 degrees in the climb. That's in 10k. All right, feel free. I know uh, enemies are tend to be pretty close on these servers, so you can go ahead and fence in whenever you're ready. Copy that. Fencing in there, there. One's fenced. Two's fenced. Beautiful. How's it feel, man? You're back in DCS after like six weeks or so. Feels great. That, it's that, that feeling when you haven't flown in a while and you get airborne, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's an interesting sense of satisfaction. You haven't done anything yet, right? But... Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you said before the, uh, you know, the first time you shoot something down, it's this great feeling. For me, it's the last time I shot something down. It's just as good. It feels good every time. Exactly. Uh, quick question from chat. Alpha here, 1906. Welcome to the stream. All right, here comes 25,000. I'm going to slowly pitch down here. You know what to do. I mean, you're a professional. I'm with you. I want to level off around the Angels 26-ish. We are at 61 yeah, you're miles. Away. You're pulling away from me and I'm in full burner. So probably because you're a little lighter than me. How am I lighter? I have a tank and everything. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's all right. I'm pulling my, back. You might. My throttle. I'm pulling back. It could be my throttle that... I have to set the full axis. Uh, but to answer the question, um, Alpha was asking, how do you learn how to do all of this? Any recommendations for a beginner? I am locking it down at like 373. Right there, ATC is activated. And I'm going to turn on a couple for Whiskey 11. So watch out on my left wing. Oh, you're good. 
to the right left here, a little side. bit. Oh, actually, you know what? That they've changed. You know how like when you hit coupled, it would like yank you over to, you know, the thing. It did it a lot smoother now. I guess with the new flight oh. model. That's nice. Oh, that's good. Anyways, uh, to answer your question, um, how do you get started as a beginner? Um, I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but whatever it is that you're interested in in DCS world in particular. Um, find out, right? First, find out what aircraft you most are interested in. That's, in my opinion, the first, most important thing. Find out what aircraft you're interested in. If it's an F-18, like we're in right now, then go ahead and buy the F-18 and start learning how to fly the F-18s. Go on YouTube and watch tutorials on how to start it up from cold and dark, how to use the air-to-air -air radar, how to use uh, countermeasures, and you can usually find like a pretty good um, kind of like playlist of tutorials on how to do those things i know the f-18 it's it's very very well documented i mean you can find out how to do literally everything on youtube so i would say that pick an aircraft whether it be the f-18 f-16 whatever it is pick an aircraft and then learn that aircraft now you get a free you get two free maps with dcs world you get the caucus map which is like over in like near russia area like georgia um and then you get you can get the marianas map which is like over in guam which is a pretty cool map and there's a lot of really good multiplayer servers or you can just do single player that's up to you um but yeah so you have the free maps so just learn the aircraft um and that's really how all i all the tips i got for you just learn the aircraft and if you can get some flight controls uh, i'm using thrustmaster a10 warthog uh data over there behind me he has in it like a whole freaking f-18 cockpit in his room <laughs> Uh, actually, he has an F-18 cockpit, an F-16 cockpit, and an F-15 cockpit in his room. Uh, but you don't have to go all, all out like that. You can get a simple Thrustmaster T-16000 or something like that. But get you a flight control. It's, I do not recommend you play this game with a mouse and keyboard at all. Do not recommend that. So I recommend get you some kind of joystick, even if it's a cheap one, and, uh, and get started there. That's, that's what I recommend for anybody looking to get into DCS as a beginner. Anything to add, Data? Uh, no, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. I would say, you know, a lot of people, when they start in the flight sims, they tend to buy cheap controls and then upgrade later. And mm -hmm. if you're new to DCS, I don't recommend that mm. because your cheap controls is just going to make it that much harder to fly. Uh, I, I got a spike. Yep, spike. And I got some contacts up ahead. Yeah. I got uh, yeah. contacts. Go. Combat yep, combat spread. Oh, I oh. got a 31. Missile up, right. missile up. Breaking right. Flare. Yeah, oh, I make 31 right behind us. Behind us? <laughs> yeah, he's, well, he's, you're turning to face him. I'm like, oh, am I? Okay, good to know. I'm coming around. Ah, but that may, basically made a 180 just now. Actually, he's behind me now, MiG-31. I do not see the smoke trail, but I know it's coming. Flaring. I'm looking. I gotta get eyes on this guy before we get shot down. Give me a lock. Give me a lock, give me a lock, give me a lock. I think he's low. Oh, give me a lock. I think I have you locked here. I really hope it's not you I'm locking. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if we locked each other. I got something locked. Let me know if I'm. Well, I'm already getting pinged. No, you're. What altitude you're are you at? I'm one. What altitude are you at? I'm high. I'm. I'm at like twenty-four thousand. Copy. I got contact six thousand feet off yep. my nose. Yep. I'm coming around. Copy. I'm. Uh, I'm down at eight thousand feet right now. You're at eight thousand. Yeah, eight thousand feet. He's high. Uh, I got a contact at six. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing someone at 21,000 feet here, right in front of me. I don't Probably. know if it's a good guy or bad Weapon guy. Weapon tied if you see him. I don't have anybody up high. Okay, I think he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Hold on. He's coming around. There's a, a Barrage 2000 coming around. Okay, I'm merged. Copy merged. Right. Coming around. We got a Mirage 2000 coming. You may want to fly on him. I'm not, I can't tell. I'm fighting right now. Alright, alright. Let me see if I can go find you. I think you're behind me. 
Oh, I got a missile out on me. Right, from the barrage I'm breaking the off thousand. this guy. Come to you. I lost hit, this bro. guy. I'm slow. This is not good. Okay. He's firing on me. Come on. I got a visual of something. I don't know who or what it is. Are you high or low? Two, I'm high. I got the 2000 coming in at me. He's. I got. I'm engaging too. That's not good here. Where is he? Where is he? Where the heck did he go? Switch in TWS mode. Let's do this. I'm on. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I got smoke in the air. Is that yeah, you? Yeah, I got hit. Yeah, I got hit. Crap. Yep, yeah, I, I got. got yep, I see your smoke. Oh, man. There's two. There's a Mirage 2000, like right there, right in front of me. Yep, he just shot at me. He came around and shot me while I was trying to get the other guy. He just shot at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn, 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 turn. Come on! Pull up! Pull up! Uh-oh. I got it. I'm okay. For now. I, I got eyes on something. It might be you, though. It might be your, your wreckage. I'm turning in. Uh, I'm, I'm dead, so... Okay. Like, I'm, are you I'm left, I'm left, I'm left. I'm, I'm coming left, left. I'm coming left. I'm left. Right in front of you at 6,000 feet is the Mirage. He's turning towards you. He's at 5,000 feet. He's coming down. You're, you're head on with him. I just okay, saw your splash. Turn. He's to your left. He's to your left. You're passing him. You guys are merged. Crap. He's at 4,000 feet. He's above you. He's yep, I got him. I got him. Got eyes. Oh, he's turning in really hot. Oh, God. You got another, you got another 2,000 coming in at you. All right, I gotta take this guy out then. Yeah, I got eyes on him. We're merged. We're in a, in like, a turn fight. Yep. It looks like he's winning it. Yeah. Oh, he crashed. Oh. Okay, so turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. You got a mirage. Keep turning left. Turning. Fourteen thousand feet, right in front of you, about five miles. Right there. Stop. Stop turning. He's right in front of you. He's climbing. Ah, oh, shoot. He's heading towards your right. Oh, he's climbing. Yeah, he's at sixteen thousand. Come right, come right, come, come right. right. I don't have, I have clouds up there. I can't see him at all. He's turning into you. He's right next to you, dude. He's like a mile away. A mile? He's 12, yeah, he's like 12,000 feet. You're at 7,000 feet. Must he's be coming around me, behind then. you. Pull right, pull right. Pull then right. I have no pull visual. Hard. I'm in the clouds. Yep, he's yep, right I see him. I got him. I got him. He's right next to you. All right. That looks like it's the, the last threat, so I'm going to go take off. I'm going to go get back in the jet. Come on, give me. I got a lock. He's flaring. Come on, come on. I'm getting really slow. This is not good. I'm in the clouds, and I'm stalling. <laughs> and my radar right. lost contact as well. I, I got to break off and drop down. I can't see anything. He's right next to you, Blue. He's coming around behind you. Pull, 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 pull. Pulling. Right. Pull left, pull up, pull up, yeah. You're pointing towards him. He's 2,000 feet below you. He just cr Oh, he fired. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh my god, he's right behind there. You. He's behind you, he's behind you. Uh, he overshot right. me. He overshot me. Okay. okay, shoot him. I can't, I'm stalling. Come left. I'm trying. <laughs> he's turning right. All right, right. here we go. He might crash, he's gonna crash, he's gonna crash. Oh, he's 3,000 feet. You just crossed over him. Yep, come just left. crossed over. Okay, come right or come right. I need my aims. I need my aims. My sidewinders. All right, there he is. Uh oh, this is gonna be nasty. We head to head head right here. Hit him with a sidewinder. You got nine X's. Uh, at the gun. Ooh, that's close. Oh. You guys are getting into a scissors fight here. Yeah. There we go. Now I got the sidewinders. I lost him. Oh, there he is. He's I see him. He's crossing behind you. He's about to shoot you. Ooh. 
Keep coming right. Keep coming left. Yeah, somebody's coming. locking me. Is, is he the only one around? Let me see. Uh, yeah, he's the only one that's close. There's a SU-27, but it's really, really far. It's just you and the, you and him right now. Overshot. All right, keep eyes on him. I'm gonna go go back and copy. Take got off. eyes. Come on, come on. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Flight confirmed. Flight confirmed. Oh, he, he died. Woo. There you go. I'm RTV. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm low on fuel. I'm almost bingo. And I got another MiG coming in on me as well. Uh, could you give me a quick vector to, to home plate? <laughs> or to, the, to the, the ship? One second. I'm jumping into... I'm in the roll, pay, the roll sheet. Copy. I'm Train. just gonna turn away from these guys. I might be able to get it myself. Hey, uh, you're good. You're coming pretty much straight. Tac can 100 X ray. Uh, you want to go zero, zero. three three four? Turn. Turn. On. Turn, turn two three four. You're 53 miles. Two three four. Wow. Copy. 53 miles. Well, let's see. All right, guys. I mean, hey, a kill's a kill. Two maneuver kills. I'll take that. <laughs> I survived long enough to stay alive. That got really sketchy. Man. I guess your advice to go air to air was a good one. I'm glad we went air to air because we were originally thinking to bring some seed and do some uh, air to ground at the same time, but it would not have worked out for us. I need to bring some more sidewinders. And I thought I dropped my tank, but I think in the moment I never pressed a button. So I'll just bring it back home empty. Now that we should be clear of anything, I hope. Bingo. Yep, now uh, one's bingo fuel 48 miles from the ship. We should be fine. I'm just going to get a little altitude and uh, head back. All right, well, guys, we're starting this stream out <sighs> eventful. Welcome aboard, guys. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying the flight so far. I'm stressed out like crazy. Uh, sorry if I haven't been looking at chat. I've been trying to stay alive. But uh, what's going on? If you're just joining us, this is called DCS World Digital Combat Simulator. It's basically a uh, combat flight simulator. It's basically the best way I can explain what this is. We're currently in the F-18 Hornet. Come out of burner. And we're flying along with Data. He's my wingman today. And we're headed back to the carrier to do a uh, carrier landing, a carrier recovery, and a uh, hope. Uh, are you in the air? No, I'm starting up on the carrier. Okay, I guess that's not you. I got something at six ahead of me, about Bingo. 30 miles. Bingo. But, uh, yes, you can refuel the aircraft. There's air-to-air -air refueling in this game. Yes, you can. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Hopefully we stay alive long enough to show them. <laughs> yes, if we stay alive long enough, we will definitely do air-to-air -air refueling a little later. Uh, yeah, the problem is we, we jumped into a practically new server so yeah like all of the bases are bad guy bases so there's going to be a lot of a lot of uh targets attacking us from the yeah. air and from the ground i think we have a picture real quick Bingo. so this is where we are oh yeah we got another su-27 trying to intercept me before i even get to the carrier but we should be fine i do not have enough fuel to do another dogfight so let's keep that in mind chat i do not have enough fuel to do another dogfight i will just run out of fuel and crash to the ocean. Uh, that's amazing. Does it also require a pilot? What do you mean by a pilot? What do you mean by that? Yes, user. I do fly fighters. We're doing it right now. Uh, where is my track IR sensor located? Mine is in the middle of the top of my monitor. I have a 48-inch TV screen that I use. It's a 4K TV screen that I use. And it's right on top of it. And that's what tracks my head movement. So this thing right here is for head tracking so when i look left i'm not touching anything right i look like look around with, with just my head and i think honestly someone someone was asking earlier for a beginner in dcs what do they recommend uh i also recommend some sort of head tracking Bingo. you could do track ir or you could do toby eye tracker or there's some there's some free resources out there as well that you can use man we, i didn't realize we got so far away from the carrier <laughs> all right i'm sorry descending yeah i mean the uh, the waypoint was 70 miles 78 that's away. true. Yeah, it was 75 miles we got away. Pretty close to it. Make sure you bring a tank this time. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> good idea. Uh, Stellar, I'm using a Thrustmaster um, 810 Warthog um, Hotas. Basically a, a realistic A10 joystick that I use right now. Uh, if you have any in any interest in my setup, which you can't see on screen right now, but if you have an interest in seeing my setup, I have a link on my profile. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can just go down in the description and check it out. Does the fuel plane require a pilot? Oh, that's what you're asking. No, the fuel plane currently in DCS is all AI, um, but we're hoping that they add the ability to um, natively have another pilot fly it as well. Uh, Dustin Riley, this is DCS World. The X-56 is a good one. Uh, when will I do more Microsoft Flight Sim? Uh, won't have any more Microsoft Flight Sim streams this week, obviously, because it's already Friday. Um, but next week, we'll probably do a Microsoft Flight Sim stream again. All right, we're 16 and a half miles away from the carrier. Do I have AWACS? Yes, we do, but I haven't act I haven't contacted them. I probably should have. Uh, honestly, Data was my AWACS for a little bit right there because I had no idea where that guy was. I think that's a carrier right there. Yep, yeah, benefits of being dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> the fact of you being dead saved my life. So yeah. you were very crucial to the operation here. Inbound aviation, welcome to the stream. I get to see. You. Uh, do I have a Boeing yoke for Microsoft Flight Sim? Yes, I do. I love my Boeing yoke. My go to. Does the head tracker work in Microsoft Flight Sim? Yes, it does. Uh, the exact same head tracker with the exact same software all works with Microsoft Flight Sim. All right, I think that's our carrier right there on our left. So I'm going to go in here, do a uh, brake turn. We are, ooh, we are definitely crucial uh, fuel. So we're, gonna, we're not going to get very many op opportunities to try this landing before we run out of, out of, out of gas. Actually, yeah, I, I was think... going to suggest if you want to come in and land and refuel. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I, I got eyes. I'm going to go ahead and go straight in. So, guys, I'm taking my eyes off chat. Just so you know. And we're going to try to land straight in. That's the butt kicker kicking in the background. My speed brake's coming out. <laughs> All right, we're 6.0 6 out. Uh, hook is dropped. Here comes the gear. Remember the landing gear physics, I think, changed. You can yeah. actually break your gear. Yeah, you're right. Try not to slam it. I'll do my best not to slam it down. Uh, if you guys do are familiar with DCS, there was an update to it that updated the flight model of the F-18. and um, It flies a bit different, but also, I guess, the landing physics changed, so you could break the landing gear if you smash it down too hard. So I haven't tested that yet. Let's go find out for ourselves, right? We have um, fuel state is 1.7. That's 1,700 pounds of fuel left. We're 2.9 out. There's a carrier right there in our nose. Uh... <laughs> My butt kicker is shaking so much. Oh, man. All right, we're a little high. Oh, we're very high, actually. All right, here we come. I got you on F2. No pressure. No pressure. Let's up right a little bit. Bingo. That's something they changed also. She keeps yelling at you, bingo, once you get past bingo. Before it would like shut up after telling you. Now it doesn't shut up. Okay, meatball's on. Meatball's on. Horny ball. Or Lulu. All right. Center up. Working on it. Or low as well. Bingo. A little low, Bingo. looking looking not too bad though. This is gonna be a bolter. This does not look good. Doesn't look too bad. We'll try though. Second Get it. One wire. Nope. Nope. No. Bolter. You bolter. All four. You boltered all four wires. Ah. Uh, of course we did. I don't want to stay in burner too long in that re on that takeoff because we don't have much. <laughs> we don't have much fuel. We're fuel critical, and we'll do take two on landing on the carrier. Before you, before you come around. 
Cool. What's up, G? You can stay down. I gotta, I gotta refuel and everything anyway. It's just gonna take a while for me to get back in here. Thank you, Brian. Brian believes in me. Thank you for the support. All right, coming back around. We're on the left base, or left downwind. Bingo. On Stennis. Bingo. That sound you hear is my gear coming down. <laughs> I mean, actually trim it. I didn't trim it out at all last time, last attempt. All right, coming in. Fuel state 1.3, 1,300 pounds. Drag the velocity vector across the ocean here. Yeah, we're getting way too slow. You actually see the exhaust in my rear view Bingo. mirror. Bingo. Really cool. Come on, keep that out too. Keep the speed. You can get on speed. I wasn't on speed at all that last attempt. Alright, flaps are down, gears down, hooks down. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Signature move. Like like pretty high. <laughs> you see that guy's video? Bingo. Bingo. Signature oh, yeah. move. <laughs> Alright, rolling in. Yeah, a two mile final. Stennis. Get on speed. I'm working on it a little slow. You look a little low. But I can't. It's hard to tell from the outside view. Yeah. You can, if you look at the front, you can see on the nose gear the uh, indicator. Oh, I went really wide that time. Oof, you look low. Yeah, this was uglier than the first attempt. Meatballs on. Meatballs on. Horn ball. We're high. Come on, come on, come on. Bingo. Bingo. Looking good. Keep that throttle cycling. Oh, you got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, nope. dang it. I think yeah, we landed short, didn't we? Yeah, you land. You crossed all four wires again. Oh my god! Am I is my hook down? Yeah, your hook's down. Okay, cool. Man, we were like it got. We kind of got lined up late, but it was looking good at the end of that. No, it looked fine. I mean, you landed short. Yeah. But you, sh you should have been a one wire. It should have been. I feel like every time they update the flight model for. The F-18, it gets harder to land on the carrier. Well, this I, one supposedly made it easier, but uh, I haven't tried it, so hmm. no are idea. You, are you airborne, or are you still on the ground? On no, the no, I'm on the ground. Okay. I'm on F-2 watching you. Oh, cool. I started taxiing, I just turned around. Bingo. Cool. All right, I am now less than 1,000 pounds <laughs> of fuel, uh -oh. so I'm coming back in. You may want to jettison all your stuff to get lighter. It might help. That's a good idea. If I don't make it this time, I'll jettison everything. I'm trying to save, you know, us some government dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe two wire is uh, the ideal, right? Yeah. Right, let's try to go wide this time. Looks like you're really high, but again, it's hard to tell from back here. I am high. And wide. Alright, power, power. Bingo. Bingo. I hear you. Come on, baby, we got this. You're sinking, you're sinking. Oh, yeah, we're sinking bad. Man, this is ugly. And now we've floated it. Yeah. I'm literally pushing my throttle. I gotta, yeah, I was pushing my my stick all the way down. It was doing nothing. I gotta oh, abandon that one. All right, I'm jettison. Me. Bingo. Bingo. Emergency jettison everything. Is it the, the 
There we go. Everything's off. There you go. You got to try and get on speed and then so you don't have any forward aft stick movement and you control everything with the throttle. Uh oh, hold on. I'm pushing the stick forward and I'm still climbing. I break That's because you're turn. slow, right? I'm doing. Yeah, I am slow. <laughs> There we go. All right, fuel state. <sighs> Point four. Okay, you got one more shot at this. This is my last attempt. Are you going swimming? Or yep. <laughs> yep. I feel like I find myself in this situation way too often, where I have very little fuel, and I'm trying to What's land the carrier. Right now? I'm four thousand trying to load, get down. Get down to like eight fifty. Let it glide down at the moment. She's really just like floating right now. Like I'm, I'm throttle off. It's probably, it's probably your trim. Did you trim to get on speed? I did earlier. Yeah. I'm turning back in. We're three miles. You gotta That's get a. Enough. You gotta get on speed and get trimmed up to a point where you're not pushing forward or aft on the stick. Mm -hmm. Bingo. That's the hard part of the F-18. It is the hard part, yeah. You don't have to deal with that in a 16 or in a 15. Well, in a 16 and 15, you don't land on carriers. That's true. <laughs> so I'll try to do that this time around. This will be my last attempt, guys. This is all or nothing right here. Either we land or we don't. We land or we swim. Uh, do you know at what at what point we lose electronics? Uh, I mean, I think you lose everything when, when the engine shut off. Yeah, you do. I know that. You, I thought it was like your, some... You can turn your APU on, but it's not going to help much. No, not at all. We just had somebody take off in front of you. Okay. All right, let's get on here. So it looks like should the still clear. be down. Yep, it's down. Get on speed. Get on speed. You Working should be doing on. like 130 knots, 140 knots or so. And then Bingo. all throttle. Bingo. That looks a lot better. I'm just below on speed. Do you have your ILS turned on? Nope. I didn't think I was going to need it. It was a nice clear day. <laughs> <laughs> Always helps. Bingo. It does help. Alright, fuel state 0.2. 1.8 out. I'm checking the channel here, the uh, briefing. I think it's 11. Uh, we're on what, 71 or 74? Uh, what, Tekken? No, the carrier. Oh, CBN I don't know. 71. It's either Bingo. 10 or 11. Bingo. Come on. Okay, looking good. Bingo. Bingo. Looking good, looking good. So hold it there, hold it there. You just landed short again. Dang it, I'm stopping. Yeah, you, I'm stopping. Yeah, you I'm, so no, you, <laughs> I'm stopping. You bounced. Oh, you're done. You're done. Oh, no. <sighs> All three times you you bounced the uh, the hook over the the four wires. Ah, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. All right. Well, respawn. Next mission. Man. I should have just uh, ejected right after we missed the wire. <laughs> that's what I should have done. Yep. Dang it, chat. You guys believed in me and I failed you. I failed you. Hey, at least we, we almost made it back home alive. Almost. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, we're back on the carrier. We'll get the aircraft restarted up. We have a friendly F-18 just took off from the carrier. Uh, Whiskey 11, waypoint 11 is still our target. 
It has still not been captured, but there is still a lot of air to air threats, including the F-14 Bravo, a Mirage and a MiG. Um, those aircraft will not let us approach 11 without a fight. So I think, Data, we need to go back up air to air again. I agree. I'm already loaded up for air to air. Word. Let's do that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and load up all air to air with uh, the Sidewinders. And uh, I'll take a single tank again. Worked pretty good for me last time. Uh, Sidewinders on the ends, and it will take Amrams. I'm going to take a full rack this time. There's a lot of enemies in the air. Two times aim 120. Two times aim 120. And that is good. Stand by chat. I'll be reading the chat once I get this thing into startup mode. Make sure I apply my livery on here. All right, fire it up. Whew. Man, 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 man. Rich, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, thank you, Brandon, for hanging out. I'll catch you next time, bro. Appreciate it so much. Kyler Elder, welcome to the stream. Uh, again, if you guys are just joining us, this is DCS World Digital Combat Simulator. As you can see, it's a basically a fighter jet combat simulator. It also has uh, helicopters as well, like Apaches. Um, soon, there's a Chinook coming. There's Blackhawks. There's, um, uh, what's that Russian one called? Uh, the uh, MI-24? MI-24, MI-8s, um, Giselles. Lots of stuff, man. A lot of good stuff. Only thing it's missing is, uh, like, actual first-person, like, on-the-ground shooting. But you can actually control tanks and stuff like that. What's up, Eddie? Welcome to the stream. Brian Aviation, welcome aboard. Uh, when am I going to get the Super Hornet mod for DCS? Uh, I'm good with this. I don't have any plans on getting the Super Hornet. Uh, yes, there's also Hueys as well. And Heinz. Thank you, Dart. It's called a Hind. So, we're going to get the F-18 started up. The problem with the whole Super Hornet mod is you, it overwrites this one. Mm. Uh, really? I didn't yeah, know that. At least, at least last time I checked, that's the way it was. So that's why I never go to it on either. Gotcha. That sucks. It overrides this one. That's not cool. That's what I remember from back in the time when it came out. I mean, maybe it's different now. Jick, twenty-one says his rudder pedals arrive tomorrow. Which ones did you buy? Have I ever played Arma? I have played. I don't really play it much anymore. Uh, my setup is listed on my profile if you're watching on TikTok. Um, it's also in my description if you're watching on YouTube. So depending where you're watching, it is definitely available. My entire setup is there. Uh, Pax is getting his DCS for or his PC for DCS in a week, bro. Such a big deal getting a new PC. It is such a big deal. I just got this PC I'm running right now a year ago, uh, 4090. Um, I9, is it 13800K, is that what it's called? Something like that. Uh, 64 gig of RAM. It's a freaking NASA computer, man. Uh, do I fly in real life? I don't fly professionally in real life yet, but I do have ambitions to become a real world pilot. Inbound aviation, can I fly the Tomcat next? No, um, I would, but I don't know how to fly it. Um, the thing about DCS, man, is that all these, every single one of these aircraft are extremely complex. And it's really hard to know how to fly multiple jets. I do fly the F-18, the F-16, the Apache, and I want to say it's probably all I'm most familiar with right now, right now. But I do have the F-14 for DCS, and it's amazing. You know, actually, I might be able to fly because I flew the F-14 in, in Microsoft Flight Sim by the same developer. So I might remember how to start it, but I definitely can't shoot anybody. <laughs> definitely can't shoot anybody. I'll definitely forget. My terrific quarter block. What's up, my favorite non-aviation friend? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, PK Brown, next time I do Microsoft Flight Sim, be next week. Uh, does it have F-35s? Is there, is there an F-35 mod, David? Uh, there might be, but it's, it's not going to be very realistic. I, I, I think I heard someone was working on an F-35 mod. It's going to be a user. Yeah, yeah. User yeah, it's not official. Not I believe... Official. There is, but I don't think it's done. There's an F-22 mod that's pretty OP out there. Um, and 
there's a few other really cool mods. The C130 mod, um, Black Hawk mod. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good mods out there for uh, from the community. All right, yeah, Brian Aviation confirms there is no current F-35 mod. I knew I saw a project for F-35. All right, Canopy's closing. It means we're almost done with startup. So uh, what, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the auto start procedure. Um, you can press a button on the keyboard and it just automatically start your jet. Um, and that's because I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I don't know how to start the F-18. This is my main jet, but I know the systems. I know how to use the weapons and all that, but I haven't spent the time to go back and learn how to start it. I do know how to start everything else. I can start the F-16, I can start Apache from Code and Dark, every single button, um, but I just, I don't know, I focus more on learning the systems of um, weapons and stuff like that in the F-18, so I just haven't, I thought about it too. Before today's stream, I was like, I probably should remind myself, like do a refresher on how to actually start it up, um, but I was like, nah, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. This one's actually the easiest of all the jets to start up. Is so it? The modern jet, absolutely the easiest. Uh, I do need TikTok mods. You're right, Phoenix. <laughs> you're right, John. Yeah, it's. I think it's. Data was just saying it's easier to start it yourself. Oh, actually, it's faster too to start it yourself. I just. I can't. It just. I gotta take the extra time to go and, and do it myself. I do. I need to do that. Thank you so much for that sub. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome aboard. Thank you guys so much for coming through and hanging out. So what is our mission this time? Let's take a look. So we are currently out here in the ocean on the Stennis carrier uh, starting up. And it looks like there are a lot. I said at the beginning of the stream is our primary mission is still waypoint 11 to capture that point. But it's so busy with air to air targets that we, we can't even focus on that. Like they're doing a really good job of kind of like suppressing us in a way. It's only two of us. It's just me and Data. Um, there was another F-18 in the sky, but he must have got shot down. Okay, he, there he is. He's coming back, I think. There's only two of us right now, so we really need another, like, two people, I would say, to uh, so we can have two guys as escorts, and then the other two go in for the ground pounding or something like that. But we got three enemy aircraft to the south of our position and another... Yeah. Three to the north, including an F-14 and F-15. That's going to be sketched. So, uh, I'm thinking we, we're closest to the F-4s. I think they're probably, I feel like they're going to. Those F-4s look like they're landing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're, yeah, you're right. They are landing. They are landing. Right Speaking of F-4, there's an F-4 mod coming to DCS um, sometime in the very near future. And a lot of people are excited about that. All right, I'm ready. Startup is done. Let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? Uh, I guess we'll go north. Um, There's a couple uh, of MiG-21s flying, uh, flying west here. Or east, I should say. Is that the one like Our northeast north. of us? They're, it's uh, directly across waypoint 14. Oh, 14. Okay. Are they They're pretty close? Mm, no, they're, they're flying away from us. Okay. I was thinking coming in. The F4 didn't land. I don't know what happened there. I was thinking we head back towards uh Whiskey Eleven and uh attempt to try to just take out the air out there, but I, I don't know that we're even gonna get a chance to actually do any air to ground. Uh this might just be all air to air. Dude, there's a Tom enemy Tomcat out there to the north yeah, of Yeah, uh, fun stuff. And a twenty nine. Okay, we can go back there if you want. Yep, we will go there. I, I'll take cat two. You can take one again. All right, approaching the cat up here. Uh, Tyler, Safrino, we are on the 4YA Syria server. This is the US server. So if, uh, if you're looking for the server, that's where we're at. It is public. Um, actually, we do have our own server now, um, thanks to Money. Uh, he's a part of our JTF Mad Dog Squadron. And uh, we just got a, our own dedicated server, mainly for um, us flying together and um, doing uh, check rides and stuff like that. But pretty soon, we'll probably have some missions running on there for us to, to do at times like what we're doing right now. 
I just didn't have anything set up today, so. Alright, we'll go ahead and unfold the wings. We're democracy! <laughs> and we'll drop down our nose as well. Jesus Christ. Digital Mark, what's up man? How you doing? Alright, wants us to run him up. I can do it just yet. Are you ready already? I'm ready. Let me just make sure I got my rotor trim set. That radar is on. Wings are locked. Waypoint 11 boxed in. Get that turned on. BW. All right, I am ready. And let me turn back on my pilot body. The shift peak. I can't remember. What's the pilot body again? There it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't use it. It's cool. They he actually puts his hand up and salutes and everything now. All right, I am ready to salute. Counting it down. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Three, two, one. Why is he not saluting? Oh, because I'm not. Uh. <laughs> I gotta put the throttle up. Forgot about that part. Alright, three, two, one, salute. There we go. Looks like I'm going before you. That's no problem, I'll. Going on you? Alright, one's up. I'm gonna come on your uh right, I'll slow down, you can come past me. No, you're good. Um I'll keep your speed up, I'll go up on your left side. And then now uh, you can follow me from there. Laps up, gear up, clean up. Alright, I'll hold three fifty, you can come past me. Alright, breaking left. Copy that. Alright, continuing climb past Angels to, uh, or right, past 2,500. We're gonna head towards waypoint 11, but uh, we'll see what contacts we pick up between here and there. I th believe there may be a friendly in the area still. Cool. Take a look at the picture here in a second. I am gonna probably get AWACS to help out this time. You got the channel? Uh it's in the briefing. It's not on my knee pad, but I'll have to look. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it because I'm I'm flying on your wing now. No problem, yeah, I got it. Uh Satin, yes, this is a uh a not just a flight sim, but it's also combat. So yes, we do have Weapon ready guns, and hopefully we'll be using them now that we're back in the air. Alright, leveling off. Must take a little clouds first while you, uh. Okay, you're good, you're saddled already. Yeah, I'm saddled. Alright, pull it up. Showing uh, 84 miles from waypoint 11. And once we get above this cloud, uh. Layer, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and fence in. Oh, what the heck? Uh, I got spike. Six o'clock or twelve o'clock? No joy. I don't see you. Oh, there you are. I'm getting locked. Like shot at. Locked. I'm breaking off. Okay. I right, went 45 degrees to the right. Lost a lot. Up getting locked again. What the heck is locking me? I don't know, but it ain't 14. Me. It's showing 14. Oh, the, oh, the 14's locking you? Okay. Okay, I'm fencing in. Copy, fencing in. I'm fencing in as well. Yep, I'm getting lots of locks from the 14. I'm jamming. Oh, 
Going cold. And we just got in the freaking air. Are these dudes like orbiting our home base or something? Like, what's going on? All right, let me know if. You, oh God, he is aiming at me. He wants me. He's lost like three missiles at me. Altitude. Oh, uh, fr are you good? You up? Yeah, I'm up. All right, our friendly tanker just got shot down. And I just heard okay. a sonic boom go by me. Yep, the F-14 is down, the one that was close to us. There's another one coming. All right, I'm coming back up. Jesus. All right. Didn't even have my radar on. <laughs> Didn't even have my radar ready to go. Yeah, switch in TWS mode. Armed. Get that um, on. I just got fired on. I'm defensive. Copy. You know what I forgot to do was turn on my uh, my data link. Dumb. The link is on. He's coming after me. I need you to go get this guy. Copy, I'm coming. Okay, now I can see them. I am coming. He's firing at me again. Alright, go cold. Go back towards where we came from if you can. Yeah, I'm defending. Alright, I got him at 16,000 feet. Locking them. He is, looks like 15 miles away from me. 13, exactly. It's a lot close. Yeah, he's close. Intercepting. He's much higher than me. I'm at 6,000 right now, so I'm at a disadvantage. I'm coming around. Copy that. Thirteen thousand feet now. I got him. I got him. Flash? No, I'm firing now. Okay. Fox three. I I got a shot too. Let me know if you miss. Oh, he's shooting at me now. Copy. I'm just firing another one. Wait Let's get him off our six here. That did not lock. That missile went ballistic, I think. Yeah, I lost a lot too. I think maybe Jack. Oh, I got a visual of dude. Oh, splash! Oh, missile hit! Splash. Missile hit! Splash, splash, splash. Good job. Alright, let's rendezvous. Where the heck are you? There you are. I hope that's you. Yeah, it's you. I really hope that's you. Is it? Is this you on my left? Yep, a little high. Yeah, I got I'm you. Turning it. I'm turning into you. Now keep straight. Keep straight. Keep straight. I right, uh, take a look at um, around us on the radar. Make sure we're not getting snuck up on while I rejoin. Yep, I'm looking. There's nothing else out there. Everything's over. Everything's uh, feet dry. Copy. I'm gonna uh, phone up on you. Just go ahead and head eastbound. That's gonna put us right over Waypoint 14, which is probably not a good idea. I don't. Oh yeah, not over. Okay, let's go um, northeast then. I'm shaking so much. That was crazy. Good job, man. You got a kill. First kill of the of the day. Yeah, I, I looked like the missile went ballistic, and then it I lost it. So. Yeah, hey, he was doing some kind of magic Might, sorcery over there. Could have, could have been somebody else, actually. Now that I think about it. Let me check the uh, scorecard. Oh, nice. We got a backup coming in. Mr. Henrico in chat is joining us in the F-16. He's taking off out of Hatai. Yeah, that was my kill. Sweet. Okay, so... 
I'm gonna turn towards waypoint 11, I think. That sounds good. Just come back north. What's your speed? Uh, 390, slowing down. Copy. I'm gonna slow down to 350. Chat says, good shot. Thank you, chat. Cook, cook, welcome to the stream, man. And this is called DCS World, for anyone asking. Digital Combat Simulator. Uh, it is PC only. You can download it on Steam. You can go to the Eagle Dynamics website. Just search DCS World in your Google browser. You can find it. I, I got a couple contacts out about 80, 80 out. Not sure what altitude yeah. yet, though. Yeah, we got a... 29 and a 15 29's coming toward us yeah 20,000 feet yeah he's at 29 they're both at 29 copy all right well that's our next our next how do you want to do this uh tactically how do you want to go about this uh this uh we got what is it, 2v2 it's actually 2v3 i got three contacts i got one more popped up behind him yeah there's um there's several tactics generally you go you could either go uh, abreast at a mile to two miles apart, mm -hmm. or you can go uh, abreast, one high, one low. Uh, you want to stay down here at 11,000? Do you want to get some altitude in these guys? No, I want to climb. Let's go. Let's do it now. They're getting closer in, inside, uh, inside 70. We got to go, we gotta go BVR. We got to try to use our, our long range missiles. So, okay. You want to get out, you want to get higher than them and faster than them. Absolutely. All right, I'm right on your right side. Don't see me. But there's a lot of clouds, so... Oh, I see you now. You're back there. Yeah, I'm, like, right behind you. All right, let me get my radar elevation changed so I can see these guys a bit better. Yeah, there's four... Four bogeys out there. Copy. There's a 2,000, there's a 29, there's a 30, and there's a 15. But the I'm 30 and the 15... They're all flying away from us. Actually, the uh, the 29 looks like it's circling 12. Gotcha. The uh, 15 keep is in, going after two F-15s that are up north. Keep in mind, I got the SA page up as well, and uh, there is a enemy SA-19, I think that's what you were just saying, at our uh, 1 o'clock. Yeah, it looks like the uh, 15s are engaging two F-15 players. Copy that. One F-15, player F-15 is shot down. Oh no. It's way ahead of us. What's up Caleb O, welcome to the stream. Tom H, Emily, Tattoo Bacon, Earth Song, Dip Dino. Yes, DCS Road itself is free, um, but basically everything is paid. <laughs> um, everything you're gonna want is gonna be paid. The planes, the maps, the aircraft carrier, Sorry, I got a little... I was in the F-10 map and my plane started turning on me. God, I'm still with you. We're in the clouds, but I can barely see you. Yeah, I'm doing a very slow left turn. Oh, we're turning? <laughs> I can't tell because we're in the clouds. It's so, it's so subtle that you probably don't even notice it. It's fine. I'm, I'm with you. I'm close enough to keep with you. Just hope we don't stay in these clouds for too much longer. JL, welcome to the stream. Uh, Henrico, would you mind coming through and giving us some air-to-air -air backup? Just uh, bring only air-to-air -air and a few tanks and the F-16 and uh, give us some reinforcements out here. Uh, we were we wanted to originally do seed us ourselves and bring harms, but there's just too many air-to-air uh, -to -air targets and threats out here. We we couldn't do it. Man, we are cloud surfing. I got contacts 40 miles. Uh, it's like he's cold. I got two more contacts. 25. Um, I don't know. We got two. We got two in front of us at about 30 miles. Are those enemy? Both enemy. 28, oh, 29, okay, 000 feet. close then. I, I'm gonna break off to your left, and I'll spread out about a mile too. Oh, we're getting locked up. Yeah, I'm getting locked up. Okay, I'm getting uh. 
I'm 21 miles. I'm getting ready to shoot. Yep, the, uh, launch, the left. launch. Spike uh, SA uh, SU30, MIG, MIG spike. Fox 3. Where are my flares? Fox 3, Fox 3. I'm flaring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got visual on both. Copy. I'm I'm cold right now. Going. I went off uh, 90 to the left. I do not have visual, but I do have. Oh wait, I do have visual. Right, on hit him! Hit him! Hit him! I have visual on you. Oh, I have visual on them. Right. I have visual. Okay, splash one. Splash one. Copy. Splash one. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, dude sent two. three missiles at me, fam. Fox 2, Fox 2. Long range, Fox 2. They sent three missiles at me. <laughs> okay, he's cold. I'm switching All right, to I'm switching to AWACS. I'm going to help you out. Where are you at? I'm switching to my... Uh... All right. Uh, to my you have one enemy SU-26, Angels 2-6. He is. Hold on. Let me get my ruler out. Okay, I got a good lock here. Presence not working. Oh, did he get hit? He's cold right now. He's flying away from you. Yeah. Come on, you got this. Okay, Fox Three SU Thirty. Copy. That's five miles. You already got him locked. Good. Good. Yeah, he's six miles in front of me. Uh, he's breaking right. He's defending, switching to short range. Oh, Boom. splash. Splashed. And he ejected two, two, two shoots and one burning plane. I'm down to one long range missile and a whole bunch of short range missiles. Good job, man. That's two kills for you today. Three, three kills. Three kills, yeah. <laughs> they made you jump out the seat, Richie. Me too, man. <laughs> Uh, this is not a mission. This is a server. We're on the 4YA um, Syria server. So if you have these... Oh, and he's dead. Or the plane's dead. Uh, we're on the 4YA Syria uh, server. This is the US server. There's two different Syria servers by 4YA. One is uh, the France French server. I think I see... Was it Phoenix? The guy in the F-16? Was it Phoenix? Uh, is that his name? Um, not sure. I see a Phoenix Colt 32 coming. Uh, I it might be up. him. Yeah, there's a, there's a friendly F-16 en route to your position. That's probably him, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. it says friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, pictures clean. Uh, nearest target, nearest air-to-air -air target to you is going to be about 35 miles to your west. Sorry, east. He's okay, at I'm Angel. He's launched on, and I don't even I don't know where it's coming it's from. Probably a Sam. Yep, it's Sam. Sam in the air. Yeah, you might want to do some stuff. It should miss. You should be fine, but it's definitely coming at you. Full burner. Uh-oh. Evade, 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 evade! Oh! Did got he me. get you? Yeah, it got me. No! Sure did. I was too slow. I was Way too slow by the time I fired. Way too slow. He, it, that thing, yeah. it... It barely even turned to get you. All right, well, that's fine. We can both reset. <laughs> Carrier together now. F-16 is not going supersonic. I love the F-16. Don't you love the F-16? Come on, what kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm just spectating this guy. He's doing some really low like maneuvers and stuff over the mountains. It's pretty freaking intense. F-16 is my favorite chat. All right, sort of plan says he's gonna join us as well. We got some reinforcements coming in from the chat. Thank you guys so much for helping us out. We're gonna reset now, get back on the carrier, and basically the mission is gonna stay the same. Um, primary um, target is still waypoint 11, but because of the air threat. Uh, we are forced to go air to air. It's actually looking much better now than it was before. There's not as many air targets in the area. If we take off right now, we could probably get some bombs on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and get um, 
We'll go ahead and hop in. Let's go ahead and bring some seed this time. Copy that. I'm going to bring uh, four times harms and the rest will bring... Uh... Actually, I'll bring two harms just in case. Just two. Just two. All right. This has been fun, though, man. Thanks for flying with me today. Oh, it's been a blast. Thank you for having me. If you weren't here, I would be just getting just murdered. <laughs> it's, it, I would be so outnumbered in this server right now. Yeah, I mean, you and I both are outnumbered. Yeah, we're already outnumbered, so this would be much worse. Let's see. Gotta get my livery. That's the most important piece. <laughs> Boom. Port number 196. Starting up. Oh, Tom H is also joining as well. Uh, God of War, no, this is not on PS5. Um, I'm hoping, though, that someday the DCS will make like a version of this for console. And I think they're working on it. They've been working on it for a long time. They were working on a, like a light version to like place um, Flaming Cliffs a long time ago, and I, they just stopped talking about it. I don't know whatever happened with it. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if they're still working on it in silence or if Wasn't they it like just... Modern, it was called like Modern Combat or something? Or yeah, it was like basically supposed to be like a competitor for Ace Combat. Right, right. In a way. But like based on this right here, like this was going to be like their, their, their core. It was going to be much more realistic, much more... Yeah. But we haven't heard anything in years about they, that. Yeah, they talked about it like almost every release and all of a sudden it just disappeared. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully it's going to be like like iRacing, um, and on iRacing is a racing simulator, one of the most realistic racing simulators, and they got the license from NASCAR um, to build a console game, and so we're going to get you know that experience now on console in a year or so. So I'm hoping that in the same way, DCS could bring over their expertise and just the excellence of what this is, um, and bring it over to to the console market as well because I think people enjoy it like Ace Combat has nothing on this especially when you add on some of the campaigns you can fly with the voiceovers and stuff oh. it ain't got nothing on this yeah you're right Mikey I gotta defend more aggressively I was being too lax I need to learn my lesson I'm not sure if money's watching but money was watching my stream last time I was like man if you hear it go beep 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 you gotta go <laughs> like don't wait and that's a bad habit of mine. Ooh, sort of, sort of like planes is on the ship. What's your call sign? Are you on this ship? I don't see anybody on my ship. Unless you're on a different ship. Uh, Pat's fan says he used to be on the USS John Stennis back in 1993. Sweet, man. That's pretty cool. Thank you for your service. Uh, you don't gray out in this game, but you do black out in this game. Yes. Yes, you do black out. Same thing. No problem, Chinook. Maybe next time, man. Maybe next time. And uh, we'll have to bring back the DCS streams more often, man. I haven't done a stream in DCS in a couple months, I think. Um, but I need to do it more often. I really enjoy it when we do it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, is this playable on a controller? I'm just going to say no. I don't recommend it. Could you technically? Yes, technically. But you wouldn't want to. Um, no, I'm just, just no. Just don't even try it. Just get you a cheap $50 joystick online. I mean, I know it's better to get the more expensive ones, but get what you can for now. But I would not recommend to use a controller. And that noise you hear can't be closing. Jeez, my book here is it turned up. It's kicking hard today. Man. But yeah, if you guys don't know, a butt kicker is, a, again, it's a device you hook onto your seat and it just kicks you in the butt <laughs> uh, based on what's happening in the game. And that's what you were hearing just now. Uh, the INS is still aligning. Once that's done, we can get out of here. All right, let me see what the picture is. So we talked about um, doing seed or bringing in some harms. Uh, again, I know a lot of people in the chat are unfamiliar with all these terms, so I'll just break it down. A harm is basically an air-to-ground missile for um, SAM radars. All right, so we have 
three issues, three problems. We have two M2000s and a JF-17 in our way. The M2000s are very low. They might be coming into land. I'm actually going to take a sneak peek. Ah. They might be, but I would not be surprised if once we get in the air, they go after the burner up to 30,000 feet. They might be landing. That's the thing, too, is we have to push back the enemy. And I can see that waypoint 12 is where they're taking off and landing. We need to get rid of that waypoint. They should not be. They should not be taking off and landing there and sending reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main issue right now. Uh, honestly, that's I wouldn't mind even sending some harms out to 12. But we're not going to get close enough to do that with them being there. And on top of that, there's two more MiGs now flying in to the AO. There's a lot up there. So thank you guys I in chat who are joining us. Um, we're definitely going to need the backup. Yeah, I loaded Just four arms, so... I did too. We'll get rid of them pretty quick. Well, I say we'll go ahead and launch at 11 and see if we can hit anything and then continue with our mission with uh, with these guys. This is my new, this is going to be my new tactic. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take off. We're going to head northbound, straight out of the carrier. Uh, stay away from the coast as long as possible so that we can then sneak in to waypoint 11 without being detected by these crazy um, aircraft that are out there. So that way that gives us a bit of a chance to get our payload off before we get attacked in the air. Because last time we took off and immediately got merged. All right, I think I'm ready. Request repair. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Ground crew, wheel chocks, remove. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. All right, chat, you guys ready for another one? Uh, we have not successfully rtb to return back to base so hopefully this time around we can get in the air drop the payload complete the mission and come back and land i don't even feel safe air to air refueling because i think the refueling tanker got shot down earlier <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's probably another one up there <laughs> all right i'm rolling <laughs> Also, if anyone else is joining us um, in from the stream and you want to communicate with us, um, we can actually choose an SRS channel. Uh, Data is not on SRS, but you can get me on SRS. We can pick a channel to, to switch to. So that way, if you guys have anything important to communicate over, we can uh, have that. You're taxing the two? Yep, taxing the two. We got the ta the takeoffs down packed. <laughs> oh man, I'm good at that. I'm really good at taking <laughs> off. Taking off is my specialty. There we go. We'll hold there. Emily says, just found out that Norway had a huge GTA style bank robbery. Holy crap. He's like, I thought this only work happens in America. <laughs> it actually doesn't happen in America that often. Not that I hear about, but I also don't watch the news. Good evening, Vindel. Welcome to the stream. Mike388, welcome to the stream as well. Hope you're doing well, man. Just got on the cats. Or our, I think this will be our, what, our third launch, or my third launch of the day. That will pull up. I'd like to see it from the outside of you. Oh, it's so loud. Yes, this is DCS World, my friend. DCS World. Welcome from Jamaica, man. Good to see you. Yes, Tattoo Bacon. I won't forget to turn radar on this time. Matter of fact, I'll do that right now. 
And I forgot to turn on the uh, freaking countermeasures, too. That almost got me killed. That probably did get me killed, actually. When that MIG shot me down earlier, I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't turn my radar on. All right, let's make sure, uh, make sure Data Link is on. Do you have that on as well, Data? Yep, I got it on. All right, cool. IFF on. Once I turned that on, my situational awareness was like, okay, I know where everybody's at. All right, right side's good. Right trim, that's good. Flaps, good. That's good. Okay. Let me check on uh, number three. We have a third person with us now. All right, he's ready as well. Cool. All right, we got three ship this time. One is ready and... Two is ready to run him up. Run him up now. Okay. Three, two, one, salute. One's up. Two's up. Climb it up and do three five zero knots. And then we'll make a right turn again. We're gonna try to kind of sneak in behind enemy lines this time. What waypoint are you going for? Uh, still waypoint eleven. But we're just gonna kind of go out to the west first, or at least we're gonna make a right traffic towards the west, and then head north, and hopefully we'll avoid. Um, getting shot at before we get the uh, harms off. We'll see if that works out. Got it. But right, go ahead and fence in now, just so we don't get surprised. Fencing in. Hey, right, speed is three three three. Passing three thousand. Nice. I see you uh, saddled. Nope, that's three. Oh wow! I'm, on your left. I'm well, coming in on your left. killing it. <laughs> He's like right on me. I'm gonna level off at round three six zero. Yep, I'm still heads down, so I'll be coming in a formation in a minute. No problem. All right, Henrico says he's at waypoint eleven already. Cool. Well, if you want, you can continue uh, past eleven. Just watch out for the Sams at eleven. And rendezvous with us in the air. We'll, uh, we'll ex expect to see us at about 25,000 feet. Yeah, there's a lot of targets on our right, so I'm gonna stay off here to the to this side here. Look at all that. You don't like any of that stuff. There we go. Now we can see everything. There's a carrier down below and friendlies on the right. Alright, we're passing Angels 12, 12,000 feet now. You got four bandits around waypoint 11. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Uh, what's my feeling on War Thunder? Um, it's a grind. <laughs> War Thunder is a grind. To actually get to fly the planes you want that are advertised, you know, like the really cool fighter jets and stuff, I mean, it'll take you forever to get that far unless you pay your way there. Um, I initially, like when War Thunder first came out, I played it. Uh, I wasn't into this game just yet back then. And I also didn't have a PC. I was playing on my PlayStation at the time. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's very uh, it's a lot of action, right? It's very very a lot of action, a lot going on. Um, but I feel like this would be the next. This this is a pretty large step up from War Thunder. It's more realistic. It's a lot slower paced, as you can tell right now. We're just kind of slowly climbing. Um, our actual attack point is eighty five miles away. 
Now, I know there is a hardcore, like, War Thunder mode where you can, like, do the whole startup and take off and stuff like that, too. So it's good. I think War Thunder is a great game, honestly. It's just, it's just a grind. Uh, I played it, rec like, m most recently, I, I did the tank stuff. I was, like, I was in a mood to do tank things, like, shoot stuff with tanks. And so I got into War Thunder again, re-downloaded it, and tried to progress as a tank. And it was kind of fun. But, again, it was a grind. All right, we're level at tw Angels 25. I'm going to set the barrel alt mode on. And we'll continue on this heading. At exactly north. And once I get autopilot on, I'm going to go on to exterior view so we can see this beautiful formation. Starting now. Sick. Uh, I do play squad. Oh, am I in a squad? <laughs> I play the game squad, yes. But I am also, I am in a, the squad called the JTF Mad Dogs. Uh, we just started it. And matter of fact, if you're actually interested, uh, we are accepting new uh, applications now. I, I think I failed, and I don't think I put the Discord link in just in a, on YouTube though. I'm about to get that. But um, basically, our process right now is if you join, uh, you do have to um, fill out an application that we have on our Discord, and then you'll have to um, request a check ride. We have a check ride mission that we created. Just kind of to set the standard of what we look for in a pilot to join. Uh, we don't really just accept anyone. Anyone can join the Discord, but you won't get access to the private areas or the liveries until you pass the uh, the check ride. And the check ride basically just runs you through, make sure you can do air to air refueling, make sure that you can land on the carrier if you have a carrier operated aircraft, um, make sure you can fly in formation, uh, make sure you can put warheads on foreheads without dying, stuff like that. And make sure that you're just generally a, you know, easy to work with kind of person that won't be causing any kind of trouble. So if you're interested in that, uh, stick around and I'll, uh, I'll go grab the Discord link and drop it in the chat and on the YouTube description so you guys can check us out. All right, let's keep an eye out. Uh, so again, we are our free defense in. Just keep an eye out. Make sure we're not getting snuck up on anything. Currently, we're heading northbound. We are still 72 miles away from Whiskey 11 or Waypoint. 11 um, and we're looking good you can tell uh, if you look at the map here you see that there's a couple MIGs that are between us actually there's four enemy aircraft between us and waypoint 11 but they're not even paying attention to us because of how far away we are from the actual um, target so I think my plan so far is working uh, once we get probably another Another 10 miles, we'll make a right turn and go straight in hot for waypoint 11 and then drop off our harms and then we'll go ahead and take out the enemy aircraft in the air as well. Money! What's up? Money's in the chat. Mike is in the chat. They're mad dogs. Uh, can you download this on a laptop? Technically, yeah, you could as long as it's a PC um, laptop. But unless you have a very powerful... Oh, he just dropped his tank. Are my tank empty? Let's see if my tank's empty. Uh, technically, if... Um, as long as you have a strong computer, whether it's a laptop or a PC, just make sure you have a very strong computer. Uh, how do I get there again? I think it's here. Fuel. Yeah, it's empty. So I'm going to jettison my center tank as well, Data. There it is. Only cost a few hundred thousand dollars or more. I'm not sure exactly how much that costs. Let me get my arms ready as well. The TOO mode. Yeah, I, got, I got my arm already up. Good, perfect. This is why I like flying with Daily. Like, he knows what to do. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to say nothing. He already knows what the deal is. All right, about six miles to make a right turn. Yeah, if I could just figure out how to stay alive, it'd be great. I mean, you're doing pretty good. You got three kills in our flights today. Um, I have I have two maneuver kills, which is hard. I don't really know if I would 
really call it a kill. Kill's a kill. Hey, yeah, kill's a kill. But yeah, so. I want to get an actual kill kill, either on the ground or in the air. Yep, gotta send you a resume. I need your um your social security number. We gotta do a background check. Oh god. <laughs> no. If you would enjoy it. <laughs> no. Uh, sort of planes. You're doing great, man. You look amazing in formation, bro. You're doing a great job right now. <laughs> That's how we weed out the squares, man. Ask for the social security number. I'm just kidding. Probably get some retired people like, oh, I don't, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> yep, there's, there goes your textiles right there. Can need some hawkla. Some what? Some hawks. We do, man. We need some hawks. Uh, can you play this game for free? Again, technically, yes, you can. But everything that you actually want to do is going to charge you money. So if you want this plane we're flying right now, it's going to cost you. If you want the map we're flying on right now, it's going to cost you. Um... But you can get started for free. Alright, where we at? I might break in a little earlier. Yeah, I think we're good now. Let's go ahead and make a right turn here. So, I'm gonna make you making a right turn. I'm gonna pull up a little bit so I don't hit him. Actually, my heading bug is still on. Alright, heading selected, exactly activated, making a right turn. Like I'm flying for Top Gun right now. Uh oh, wait a second. What is this here? Alright, waypoint 11 is showing 62 miles away. Um, I do have contacts, but they're showing behind waypoint 11. And leveling off in 3, 2, All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of speed to give our harms the best chance. I got an SA-10 BB locked. Good. All right, switching air to ground. A hey, um, sorta. What's his name? The third number three. If you could uh, keep an eye out on air to air for us, while we go heads down here for air to ground. Right, air to ground mode is uh, active. I got my harm on. Go to the harm display here. STCO. I got an SA-6. What do you say you have locked up? BB. BB. Copy that, you got a BB. I got BB as well, showing up. That's not the right button. Okay, I'm getting locked up by a Mirage 3000. Copy, continue. Right, I got BBSCS locked. I'm pushing forward. I'm going to get some altitude as well. A little bit more since we're so fast. Because I want to be able to launch this missile and then also have energy to fight. Because <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be launch, dogfight. I right, go ahead and go combat spread either side and be ready to engage. We are clear weapons hot. Uh, one's at Angels 3 1. I'm right with you. Copy. Uh, what's your fuel state? Uh, 8.1. Copy, 8.2. I got BB locked at the moment. I'm probably going to send two at it because it's probably going to try to shoot him down. That's my guess. The SA 6 joins to the south as well. Let me look at how we're yeah, looking. I I got the uh, missile hand. Matter of fact, let's uh let's break right just a little bit, about uh, 20, 30 degrees. Uh, showing the enemies are all kind of to the north of waypoint 11 at the moment. We have a friendly F-16 in round Phoenix as well from the uh, our left side. 
If you want to hit BB, I can try to hit uh, the SA6. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, I'll target the SA6, you target uh, BB. I got the BB ready to go. I got the 6 ready to go as well. I'm 33 out. Get a little closer, but we got a lot of air targets coming this way. Oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to get there. I'm in burner trying to get there as fast as I can. I got a friendly sixteen twenty nine out to our left. Now I got him on my uh, on my heads up. But I do know as well there's enemy to his left. I'm surprised they're not attacking him already. What range are you gonna fire? <sighs> I'm gonna try twenty five. Copy that. I think that's too far. No, nah, not at altitude. We should be fine. All right, cool. I'm gonna try twenty five. Alright, 28. I'm at 26. Alright, I got eyes uh, on heads up. Two enemy MiGs. 26.4 at our, it looks to be 10 o'clock. Copy, got vision. Uh, no, Hector, this is not War Thunder. This is DCS World. Okay, 23 miles. Copy. All right. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, what's it again? Rifle? No, not two. rifle. Magnum. Two Magnum. Magnum. Magnum one. SA6. And Magnum two. SA6. I, it looks like they turned the radar off as soon as I launched on them. I lost lock completely after I launched. I still see the six. It's not mine. There's mine. I right, hopefully they hit. I'm switching air to air now for uh, defensive. And I'm gonna break to the right here. I still have two more harms ready. But I want to just break off here and make sure we're not getting in, um, getting tricked. Yep, I'm still showing that BB. Copy. I'm gonna turn towards him. I might throw another heart at him. Sounds good. I'm gonna back off and uh, and cover the air. Should see me contrailing. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. We launched that at 23 miles, so it's gonna take a while for that missile to hit. Hopefully it does. Okay, I think I hit hit something. I got two F4s up ahead locking me up. Sweet. Nine miles, eight miles to waypoint 11. Copy, I am 22 miles still, uh, making in right turn. Might have to help out our F-16 buddy over there. I think he's under attack. Yeah, I think our F-16 is merged. I'm gonna stick with you though. Alright, I got these F4s like right in front of me, switching there there. Copy. What's your altitude? 23,000. Copy. I am being locked. by what I'm still 12 miles from whiskey oh it's a sand locking me I'm turning back out I'm right over it actually box two a four it's like good. a splash good 
Money says check chat as soon as I can. Uh oh, hold on. Not a good time. <laughs> okay, good to know, Money. <laughs> good to know. Uh, countermeasures are ready, by the way, guys. Countermeasures are ready. <laughs> Money's funny. Uh, countermeasures, are they ready? Yeah, they're, wait, are they? Yeah, they're ready. How you looking? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I, I think our buddy in the F-16 took him out. What's up, well, DJ? I got one, the other one's running, so I'm gonna turn back towards waypoint, uh, waypoint 11 here. Copy, I'm up high, um, kind of orbiting and, okay, now I got something coming up. Now I got some popping up here. by the SA-10. Yeah. And I might, I think since I'm up here so far, oh, okay, never mind, I'm getting, getting pinged again. Got a spike on some, another Sam, you have Sam spiking me again, mud spike. Uh, do I prefer eye tracker or VR? Nothing really compares to VR except for real life. <laughs> um, but I prefer track AR only because I can monitor other things outside of my game. In VR, you're only doing VR and that's it. You can't see anything outside in the real world. Still getting pinged by this Sam. This S18, S18 really wants to kill me. It's yeah. Like, What's at me so far? Is this a bad guy? Wait, what is that? Is that you? Yeah, I'm hit. That is not. That's a drone. I got a drone locked up. No, I, I got hit. You hit? Yeah. How far are you from? Are you dead dead or are you on fire? No, I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> okay. That sucks. It wasn't am, that close. I don't know what happened there. I'm right above 11 now. Yeah, we pushed the guys back pretty good because I'm right above 11. I'm not getting shot at by any air to air, just air to ground. So I might. I'm considering going back to the, uh, considering going back to the harms, but I'm just I'm surrounded by enemies, and I don't really want to. I don't feel safe doing that. I do have a contact to my right. Yeah, it feels like at this position I'm in right now, the Sam like doesn't see me, but when I get out to that ring... You got an SU-34 turning into you. Which way? Uh, you gotta go right. He's at 24,000 feet. Heading? Yeah, come right. Hold on, I gotta... This might be hit right here. I got something uh, right off my nose. Yeah, he's about... Uh, heading uh, one, two, three. 132 20 miles. 132 20 miles, Jesus. Yeah, he's uh there. I, I see him. I got a lock. Yep, he's 16 showing for me. Yeah, because you guys are you guys are going towards each other. You're hot. Box three. That's a warning shot. Evade, evade, evade. Ah, he's turning away. Might be working. Yep, splash! I got a kill, baby! Oh, I'm getting shot at. Come on, Colt! Oh! I'm flying right back into this darn Sam. On. Hit the deck. Anybody else? Uh, any other uh, air targets? Follow me. Doing six hundred knots. All right, I'm back here. 
Any other air targets chasing me down right now? Doesn't look like it. Let me go. Let me check. Um, you got an F-15 coming at you. Uh, he's... Um, 230 at 30 miles. 230, copy. Yeah, he's at 24,000 feet. He's heading due south. How far out? He's about 29 miles, 30 miles. Oh, yeah, that's way too close for an F-15. You said 230? Hold on, I'm going to reset that. He's moving, so... 227. you got to go 227. It's behind you. And you got a MiG-25 to your south. Hey, I'm getting out of here. Like I got one AIM-120. I'm defenseless right now. The F-15 is not coming at you. He's just heading, he's just flying through, due south. Wait, that's not true. I do have plenty of... Okay, I can fight. I can fight. Actually, no, I can't. You got, you got a MiG-25 right to your left. At 17,000 feet. He is yeah. at heading 315 at 16 miles. Uh, is there a tanker nearby? No, I don't see one nearby. They're, they're, they're way to the north. Uh, he's at 18,000? He's at 20. He's climbing. He's right in front of you. I got him. I had him. Lost him. Uh, he's 10, 10 no, miles. He's high. He's high. He's high. You gotta elevate your radar up. Yeah, I am. Okay, you're 10 miles. He's still not looking at you. I don't know if he sees me. There's a missile that was fired at him by an F-16. Missile's passing you, coming at him now. He's right there. That's why I can't lock him, because he's like right above, he's above my radar. He's four, he's four miles away, but he's about to get hit by a missile. I see him. There, there's a Tomcat right behind him. It's to the south. Alright, I got him. I gotta land though. I'll have three. I'll, yeah, I'm I'm way below bingo. Okay, MiG-25 evaded the missile. You got an F-14 Tomcat and an F and a MiG-25 like within two miles of you. Three miles. Alright, question: Nearest airport to land at? And you got an F and you got an F-15 right behind you. Nearest so, airport to land at? What, what do I got? What are my options? Uh, around here? Yeah. Um. Nothing close that I can see. You gotta go north. Nearest? What's the nearest? Oh! Wait, wait. Nearest is gonna be the carrier, actually. That's too late. I don't need it. <laughs> Something shot me. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff around. Yeah. Jesus. A lot of stuff around. Whew. Don't even, they don't even give you a chance to eject, man. They just straight up slap you. Yeah, you had three around you. And yeah, had three around me. And the F-16 that was there got shot down. Dang. All the fr all the friendlies are going down. Sad day. Yeah, I was surrounded, man. There's a friendly F-18 in the air. Yeah, but he's got to make 20, 25 right behind him. Does he know that? I, don't think, <laughs> that. No, I think he knows it now. Well, he's starting to turn. Way up there, but he's 37,000. Yeah, he's up here. He's gonna be slow to come around. He just launched on something. Yeah, he fired on the MiG. The MiG's Can't evaded. Find the he's missile. Gonna he's gonna hit it. Bam, gone. Yeah, that's a good kill. kill. Good kill, missile meat. And he actually killed the last. Oh, there's an F 15 up here still near him, and there is a F 14 heading out. Yeah, to the north. Yeah. I have time for one last departure. I'm happy I got one kill, though. There you go. Yep. I got one kill, chat. I got one. I'll be happy if I can get a carrier landing and a kill. <laughs> we gotta go try to refuel, too. Yeah, where are the refuelers at? Because I needed one just now, and they were nowhere near to be found. They're, they're either way north, or you got the the Viking. Yeah, they're up the north. Tank. Yeah, it's way far from where we were. Okay, did you hit anything uh, on the ground when you shot those harms? Uh, not sure. I have to check. I don't think I hit anything. I might have, the, but I don't I think got, I did. I got shot down by an SA-10. That could have been the one I was trying to shoot. Hmm. 
I got two off, but I didn't get a kill confirmed. He was also bingo. Uh, Hassan, this is called DCS World, my friend. DCS World. No, right. I got three air. I got three air, no ground. So three air, no ground. Okay. All right, let me get. All right, we'll do. Um, I'm gonna bring just two harms with me this time. And everything else, air to ground. I'm oh, sorry, air to air. Which I think might be what I did last time. It might be. And I'll take the single tank in the middle. I feel like the strategy we had last time going north first kept us alive for much longer. And we were actually able to get missiles off. Uh, it might. We lost might. a little bit of SA there. <laughs> I got missile arm. There we go. Oh, I forgot my delivery. That's okay. I'll do it later. Copy. All right. Uh, who am I playing with? Yes, uh, the man on the microphone. That is Data. He is my wingman today. Uh, he has been killing it. He's already got three, four kills or something like that. So, glad he was able to join me today. Uh, we do have a squad, usually there's a few more of us, but um, most of them are at work right now. Uh, and no, I do not recommend playing this on the controller. Do not recommend it. Need to at least get you a cheap joystick. Um, the more buttons, the better. There's a lot of things you would have mapped to your buttons on this. A lot of things. Uh, it is on Steam. Yes, it is on Steam. The E model? E model of what, Carl? The uh, harm? Probably means F-18. Oh, the E model of the F-18. Is my ask about that? Super Hornet. Cycling Leo, what's up, man? Good to see you too. It's been a long time. It really has. I mean, if we really want to be accurate, we could go out there with the um, with the JSAL and drop an exact GPS point on that thing and just launch it from fifty miles out. I mean, if you really want standoff missile, or we could do slammer for that. We could do slammer as well. I think the GPS is less likely to get shot down, though. This, I think you're able to detect the slammer and, and knock it out of the sky. Um, yeah. There's an SA-13 and an SA-2 at the waypoint. Oh, two, oh, three SA-4 SA-2s. Um, and SA-13. So what do you want to take? I'm like... Uh, hmm. Are you on the carrier? Yeah, I'm on the carrier. Where? And spot, same spot I've been in. Okay, I'm all, I'm all the way across on the other side. Oh, are you? Oh, so somebody else is next to me then. Yeah, there's two other aircraft on here. That... Yeah, one guy has J Styles. You know, I'm really thinking of. You know what? Screw this. I think I'm a. I think I'm a ring GPS guided bomb. I think I might okay. do that. Um, I. The harm was for fun. You know, but if we really, sorry, <laughs> if we really want to almost guarantee we're going to hit that target, GPS bomb is the way to go. So, we have one, two, three, so this is what we could do. This is, this is the new option of the tactic. We have four aircraft now, right? We got backup, we got some friends, they got some air to ground, they got some missiles. Maybe I can go full air to ground and you guys just watch my back and I'll bring GPS so that way I don't have to get close. Okay, I'll go air to air and I'll take a couple of harms. Just All right, in case. let's do that. I'm going to bring some GBUs then because we haven't hit the ground once <laughs> um, in this stream. So uh, I'm bringing the JSAL. I feel like the range of the JSAL is a little bit better. 
I could be wrong about that, but I just feel like it is. Yeah, the J-Sals definitely has better range. I'm we'll bringing four times J-Sals. The Type C Charlies. I keep forgetting it's in missiles and not in, not in yeah, the, exactly. in the bombs. And you guys in chat, if you don't know what a JSAW is, you'll see what they are once I get them on here. And I'm also going to bring the uh, the TV pod, the uh, lightning pod. Always helpful, just in case I need it. I do have eight of them. <laughs> so. All right. I'll hit OK. Reload that. Let me go get my GPS coordinates then. Yep, I'm loading up my uh, weapons now. How many... um. Waypoints are already programmed in here. Refueling complete. Looks like I know there's a lot. This mission pre programs a lot of waypoints. Okay, there we go. Uh, we can start at waypoint 40. There's 38 waypoints. We'll start on 40. We'll go to data. Let me hide this for a second. Data. How was it? Oh, precise. That's what I want. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to use my app. It's an application called The Way. And actually, I haven't tested this today. So hopefully it works, or else my entire idea does not work today. <laughs> If you don't see these guys on the list of pilots on blue team, you are not in the server. Okay, there it is. F10 map. Server is 4YA Syria. Yeah, actually, I don't know if this is going to work. Dang it. Dang it. Because this is not really configured. It doesn't, it doesn't detect that DCS is even on. I think mm. you have to start it before. I th oh yeah, it's probably what it is, bro. Just a, just another guy. Real lives are depending on me hitting these targets. What are you talking about? There are many, there's millions of people depending on these bombs hitting the right target. All right, we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, there's so many. Um. Yeah, because if I don't put GPS coordinates, then I'm gonna have to get in range, of visual range, to see them, and that's not gonna that's not gonna be good. Um, I I don't want to take the time, so I you guys just got to cover my butt, because <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the teapot and use a teapot on waypoint eleven. All right, break. Just gonna say that you know maintenance didn't fix my. They didn't pre-put the GPS stuff in there. All right, ground crew, release wheel chocks. Let's get out of here, guys. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Because nobody in chat wants to watch me type in GPS coordinates for the next thirty minutes. Wheel chocks are now removed. I know that's right. All right, I'm rolling. Right, I'll take cat too. Um, I guess data since you're back there, you could take uh, either three or four, depending on when that guy. Uh, or is that you on... No, that's not you. I think you're still parked. Yeah, I'm still parked. Are you on Cat 1? No, I'm coming in... Pro I'm approaching uh, Cat 2 right now. Whoever's on Cat 1 has a speed brakes out. That's not going to end well. <laughs> yeah, Cat... Whoever's on Cat 1, you have your speed brakes out. He heard us. He put it back. Yeah, Tom H, you need to be on the uh, 4YA US server. There's multiple Syria servers, so make sure you're on the US server. And we're all currently on this Stennis carrier. And you should see the name Comet, ATF Mad Dog Comet, on the uh, member list. If you don't see it, then you're in the wrong server. All right. 
Open the wings. Aleppo is under our control. You can now spawn there. That's not our target. Are those are the J-Styles? They look like big old bags. And we're gonna fly straight to 8.11 this time. We're not gonna go around a sneaky route. Because I only have one tank. And I'm very heavy. Oh god, what's this guy doing? What? This guy's taxiing all the way around here. It probably didn't work. Or something, I don't know. I'm getting bad directions from my bike. Oh, we got five jets now. Sweet. Sounds good. Actually, Cat 1's open now if you want to take Cat 1. Yep, I'm coming towards it right now. I'll wait for you. What's up, code name Tequila? Welcome to the stream. Good to catch good to catch you on a live stream, man. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Again, guys, just joining us. This is called DCS World. Just gonna make that announcement before it gets real busy. Once we get in the air, it might get a little sketch. But yeah, this is called DCS World. Digital Combat Simulator available on Steam. Is PC only. And we are in the F 18 Hornet on the 4YA Syria server. Make sure you are on the US server. Did you just do a flyby? No, somebody else is in here. Okay. And uh, we are live on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. If you want to see the full view if you're watching on mobile? On TikTok, you can come by YouTube and catch the full, the full view. Much nicer viewing experience. I got my essay page. I am ready to go. Oh, Waypoint eleven. Let me put that in real quick. Click, 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 click. And in my opinion, DCS is the most realistic flight sim. Period. That's my opinion. My flaps are good. Flaps are up. Grim should be fine too. Oh, did you take off? Choose airborne. Oh crap! Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting for you. I didn't know you were taking off. Oh, I thought you were in the air. Right no, now. no, that's somebody else. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you took off and. You're good. Just, uh, just orbit. I'll, I'll catch up. All right, hold on. Oh my god, the trim is completely out of whack. Bro, what is going on with my plane? Uh oh, this is not good. Press the trim button. Press what button? Trim? The I'm trim. holding it down, holding it down, holding it down, holding it down, holding it down. Restart rudder trim. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I'm, I'm getting speed. I, it warned me that my trim was off before takeoff, but why is it so off? I just cold started. It's still shaking like crazy. What is going on? Oh, my gear's still down. Wow, what the heck was that? You got it under control? Yeah, I think we're good. I'm still pressing the trim knob down. Do you see me? I'm just in a left turn. I see somebody running left. Oh great, I'm getting locked up already. Oh no. By a boat. By a boat? Yeah. I'm gonna come back around towards the carrier. Don't get shot by your Cuban friends. Oh god. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> uh, those sounds we get was like my seat shaking from the butt kicker I have installed. That's what you heard. Yeah, there's a target. Uh, 15 out from the carrier. How do you get this close? 
I'm gonna go away towards the carrier to defend me because I don't have the ability of defending myself right now. Getting, somebody's getting shot by an F-16 over here. I'm gonna turn engage. Happy. I, I think I got the trim figured out. That was weird. Like the plane just pitched really hard up and tried to stall me right after we got the carrier. Still kind of weird. Like I'm still pushing trim down. It's not really going down. Thank you, Tom Kearney. They got a boat lock. Yep, there's boats, and they'll kill you in this game, too. Well, there's little boats and big ships. Altitude. Altitude. With, with big guns on them. Very big guns. I know, right, Rush? All that weight, and I broke the freaking plane somehow. All that for nothing. Hopefully, we'll be okay. I might, I'm a. Usually, once you put the autopilot on, it kind of resets it. So I'm trying to go barrel alt hold here and see if that, three. that fixes it. Hawk 3 F-16. All right, let me know if I'm cleared to head back that way. Okay, splash. Okay, he's he's down. Should be clear. All right, copy. Um, proceed to waypoint 11. If you guys want to meet up on me. Yep, 11. I mean, 95 miles, it's going to be quite a flight for me with one fuel tank. Oh, you know what else I just remembered, man? What? Ah, this is not going to be good. Um, so, I don't have GPS coordinates for the target because I wasn't patient enough to go get them. Um, <laughs> and so I'm dependent on using my teapot to lock up the target, which obviously means I got to get fairly close, like within like 20 something miles. And it's visual, so it's, you know, pretty cloudy out here, so I got to be pretty low as well. I got multiple contacts showing up inside 80 in the direction of waypoint 11. All I see is an, uh, a Su-27 in the area. Actually, they're inside 160, around 90, 100 miles. So this is not going to go well. I'm very unprepared for what's about to happen. But I'm going to do my best. Going to do my best. What is my dog doing? I need to get like one of those baby cameras, but for dogs. Jesus, what is he doing? I'm gonna climb. Where's Travis? I don't know where Travis is. Yes, everybody in chat learned from this. I set myself up for failure. And most likely another low fuel situation also. Oh, hello there. Drip dog, you want to be a pilot? You want to be a Navy pilot? Go for it, man. Go for it. All right, still 78 miles from there. Um, and since I do, all I have like for protection is a couple of sidewinders, which is mainly for close range. And I have one single Aim 120 on the on the belly, which is probably my main source of defense um, for this flight. So at all costs, I am going to be avoiding another dogfight. Um, but that's why we have friends now. Yeah, that's their job. <laughs> it's to protect me. I see a Su-27 over the target, so I'm gonna push up ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, attack can is 100 x-ray. You're Next still in front back. of me. Yeah, I'm climbing up right now. I'm doing about 300 knots. Yeah, SH, I can pull. You know what? The flight's long enough to pull some coordinates. Technically, I could pull some cords from here. I 
technically I could. Man, I wish I was really depending on the Way app getting me some coordinates, but I'm gonna have to do it myself. I'm about to be old school here. Let's see. Yeah, I got I got visual on you, Blue. I'm behind then above. Way up. Let's see what other coordinates for this place. Can I copy this somewhere? Is there a way to copy you? The coordinate? Oh, I gotta take a picture of my phone. I think, isn't there a way to copy coordinates now in DCS? Not sure. I don't. I could have sworn there was. Like a way to like click on it and copy co the coordinate so that way you can type it in later. You can use Scratchpad if you have it. I don't have the app, no. Yeah, make sure the jammer's on too. It's my other defense, sort of. Oh, that'd be helpful if I had that on. <laughs> my freaking radar. Okay. All right, all right, guys. We can go head down for a little bit while I get. Uh, or attempt to remember how to put coordinates in the F-18. Look down, man. Look, look down. All the way down. Come on. Come on, head tracking. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, this is an SU-30 coming in hot from the west. He's still pretty far out, though. He's about 80 miles out. Yeah, my it does not want to look down. That's fine. I'll just do this. And then there's a F-18, also coming towards waypoint 11. All right. We still got time. Thank you. Okay, so we'll go to. Uh, I shall do it to the weapon itself. So we'll get air to ground up. Uh, J Siles turn into uh, PP mode, which is uh, persi what does it mean? Uh, shoot, what does PP stand for again? Pre pre some pre, pre, pre plan pre plan mode. Pre -plan, yeah. That's what it means. And I'll set just the outer ones to pre plan. So if I need to do T O O on the other ones, I can do that. I think they're all pre planned by default. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you want to go T O O for target of opportunity. Yeah, so I'll just do pre-plan for now, or the one I want to put the coordinate in for. We'll go to JSAW display. Am I stalling? We are stalling. All right, I'm turning towards this uh, SU that's coming from the west here. Copy. He's still 60 miles out, but. All right, uh, we'll go to release type, release type, which is manual, mission, and then we should go to target UFC, and then position, lat, north. Took a photo of it. All right, GPS latitude is 35, 24, dash 45. All right, 50 miles, 1,200 knots closure. Copy. Enter. Did I put the last digit in there, too? I can't remember. Yeah, I do. All right, enter. There it is. And then long longitude is east. 35, 56, 14. Enter, 49. Enter. That's good. We'll hit target UFC again. Elevation of the target in feet is 92. And enter. Alright, so now if we look at our left screen here, we should be able to see that what I just put in. So right here 35, 24, 45, 20, 35, 56, 14, 49, 92. So that's for our station 8. Now we have a bunch more targets we gotta put in. <laughs> that's just the reason why I didn't wanna do it like this. Cause this is very time consuming in the heat of battle the cool thing too is that now we can see 
uh, here as well, you can see our our release, how far out we can release the range of our weapon. Two Fox 3, SA, SU-30. Copy that. 18 miles. I am getting a, a spike, I'm jamming it. I'm gonna stop right here, this is high enough. Alright, three minutes until TMR. In the meantime, I'll see if I can pick up a, a couple more of these. So the target I chose is the SA-13. I'll also attempt to go for this SA-2. Another base is ours. Oh no. Friendly forces moving in. You can now spawn there. Oh no, hold on. I think I put the wrong thing. Uh oh, I'm getting jumped. I sure uh -oh. did. Uh oh, you're getting jumped? Yep. Yeah, let's go do TLO. <laughs> oh, I'm done. No! I got jumped by two. And my missile missed, so that was it. Yeah, that's an SU-30 out there. Phoenix is coming in. Uh, I missed help. the SU-30, and there was a MIG, uh, Mirage that came out of nowhere that I didn't see on. Of course it did. Oh. Yeah, I see your wreckage out there. He's flying away, though. He is flying away. All right. Where's waypoint 11? All right, I'm gonna switch to TOO mode because I just don't. This is not gonna work. TOO, step. TOO, step. Where's the mirage? Oh. I don't see. I didn't see a mirage on the map. Maybe I just was, looked just now. It said M. Maybe it was a. Maybe it was a ground missile. But it was definitely an air to air. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, there's. All right, waypoint designate, please. It might have been from waypoint eleven. All right, I am thirty-six miles out, and I am in range here at twenty thousand feet to hit the target. The only issue is I can't see it, and I'm being locked. Yeah, the SU thirty is coming around, but the Phoenix is, is engaging him. It looks like. He just fired a missile. Probably at me. He, yeah, it looks like it's it's coming at you. All right, I'm coming on and off. Okay, Phoenix is firing on him. Oh no, the missile's tracking Phoenix. Copy. He fired two off. Oh, I think he's gonna get hit here. I gotta lose, I gotta lose altitude anyways, because I can't see the target range. Ooh, so I'm gonna drop my down low. God. Uh, do I know how to fly a real plane? I have a pretty good idea, <laughs> but uh, I would not claim to know how to do what these guys do in real life. Good job by Phoenix. He avoided the missile and he shot down the Su-30. Nice. Phoenix coming in clutch, man. I needed that. Come on, flare pod and warm up. All right, okay. 27 out. As Han Solo once said, you're all clear, kid. Now blow this <laughs> thing up and let's go home. Exactly. I got uh, 8,700 pounds of fuel. I'm right here at the edge of the range of the of the missile. I'm just waiting for my teapot to come alive. Right now it's asleep. I should have turned it on earlier. That's my fault. It's taking a sweet time. My SA in this jet is so bad. Yeah. I mean, we're both kind of rusty. We, ha we haven't flown in DCS in a little while, especially in this aircraft. So, I mean, the fact that you got, you know, four kills or something, that's pretty decent for a day. Yeah, but I got shot down like five times. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. T-Pod's up. My wing is blocking it. All right, come on. I'll turn this way. Yep, I got eyes on the red smoke. I'm not getting pinged by anything anymore. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, some dead stuff down there. That's good. A lot of stuff alive still. Oh yeah, a lot more stuff alive. You got a 
Actually, it looks exactly the way it looked when we started. <laughs> we haven't touched this place. We haven't touched this place. We haven't since, touched uh, it. We've been trying to get there this whole stream. I'm trying to find out why it's not allowing me to move my camera. There we go. There we go. Now it's moving. Okay, let's go get like, this guy out over here. I hear you. Okay, two MiG 21s have taken off from Hama. Copy. They're heading in your direction. Kind of like snaking my way over there, trying to get a view, get a lock, and that way I can actually hit something. They're uh, heading oh, 099 no. for 43 miles. Copy that. I'm in range. Altitude. Altitude. Get a little bit of altitude and bombs away. Who's that behind me? <laughs> it's Phoenix. Oh, cool. All right, bombs in the air. Altitude. Hopefully that one hits something. I feel like my GPS point is not extremely accurate, but it's close enough. All right, let's go find another one while that one's in the air. Big 21s are heading north. There are no factor. Copy. I don't like doing this at low altitude. I'd rather be at like 20,000, 18,000 feet. You gotta watch out for man pads. Yeah, I'm, I shouldn't be too, I'm 10 miles out. I shouldn't be close enough for man pads. I hope. No, I mean when you get back in. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. And I'm still having the trim problem right now. So I'm, I'm really erratic the way I'm flying. So if I have to land this thing, it's going to be a nightmare. Checking my missile. It's still in here. Oh, no. Come on. What is... is am I damaged? Because, like, this plane does not feel good. Let me, let me check you out. Hold on. No, you don't look damaged. Yeah, something's off of my trim. All right, bombs away, I'm dropping it. I should have the point, I'm gonna turn around. We'll come back in for another run. That one should be hidden pretty soon. Hold up, man, what is up with my, oh, I'm going fast, that's why. You look okay. You're and, oh, just barely missed. It flew right over top of it. I don't think it's the updated flight model that's causing me a problem. I just think my trim is actually just off. Like, I took off and my trim was just completely out of whack. Alright, we gotta hit this guy. Ah, oh, that was close, too. Alright, turning back around. Well, it's not the symmetry, like. I can deal with, you know, having a heavy left wing or heavy right wing. It's actually my pitch trim that's I'm having the problem with right now. All right. MiG-21s are turning in. They're 30 miles at 062. Copy. Well, they're turning around. They're heading south now. But just they're 30 miles from you. They're at 2,000, 2, 3,000 feet, more or less. I don't know what the heck they're doing. They're, like, flying around. I think I hit them a little bit. I got a little damage. I'm gonna aim a little lower. There we go. Oh yeah, you hit, you did damage to the SA2, for sure. It's almost destroyed. Oh nice. It's at like one percent or whatever. All right, in range, let's level up, level the wings, and pick up. A rifle. I think is the right term for this missile. Let's go get that other guy. He's up here. Come on, clouds, you're killing me. You're killing me, clouds. And wings. Come on, it's like a small gap. There it is. Alright, got a lock in range. 
turn in. And pick up. Breaking off. Your first launch is still behind you. My first one? <laughs> is it yeah, really? It's, it's really slow, yeah. These are glide bombs. It's crossing under you now, or just behind you. The first one you dropped. I'm not getting shot at at all by anything at the base, so that's a good. That's good. No, I yeah, it's crazy. It's like everything is down. I, I want to watch it. Okay. So I'm gonna put my eye. So it's about on. to hit. It's about to hit. So. There it goes. Come on, come on. That's Boom. a shack. Target Detroit. That's a shack. Other other one. There's a Maverick going down. Who shot a Maverick? I see a second one coming in. I don't know if that's a Maverick or what it is. There's a, there is a Maverick coming in. I don't know who's Maverick oh. that is. Oh! oh this one here! This one here! Watch out, Phoenix. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's about... It's tracking. Definitely on him. Yeah, I didn't get a tone. That might have been a map pad. He avoided it. Uh, have I ever used the A-10 Warthog? Absolutely, man. It's a great plane. I don't... I haven't flown in a while, though. Um, the problem with the A-10 for me is, is that once I stop flying it, I forget how to fly it. <laughs> and I have to go and learn again, so I'm... That's where I'm at right now on the A-10 Warthog. Like, I want to fly it, but I gotta go learn how to fly it again. Hey, Blue, I gotta dump off. No problem, man. Thanks for helping yeah. out. Yep, I'll see you in a bit. See you later. Alright, see so if we can get a good look. Did we kill him? How is he still alive? Alright, let's go get him again. Alright, one's in hot. We're in range. Rifle. That should hit. That should definitely hit. Let's see if we can find another target while we're still rolling in. I'm out to play. I don't want to get too close though. Because as we saw a second ago, there's definitely something down there shooting at us. Warthog is your favorite? Yeah, it's a good one. It's a great plan. I love it too. That's why I bought it. <laughs> Uh, he's, oh, that is going to miss. I didn't aim for that. Uh, is this PvP? No, we're in a PvE server right now. It's all um, it's all AI. But it is a uh, player co-op. I don't feel like I'm ready for PvP, man. Like, I feel like I would just get shot down ten times more and just get frustrated and leave. <laughs> Altitude. Altitude. Uh, how much is this game? The game itself is free. Uh, the aircraft uh, vary. Oh, I just hit, I hit something. Um, the aircraft vary in price um, from, what, $25, $30, all the way up to like $60, $70. The more complex, high fidelity aircraft are uh, quite expensive. Like this one right here, I think, goes for, I want to say, 60 bucks, something like that, just for the plane by itself. And then the maps, I think, around 30 30 something. So it's, like I said, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's. You're gonna pay something. <laughs> it's free to get in, but then if you want any of the cool stuff, you're gonna have to pay for that. Alright, where is that guy? We're knocking out some targets down here. Here's a tank. And what's happening to the screen is that my wing is blocking the TV. So I have to angle a little lower. I have to angle my aircraft so that I can actually peek because my teapot is getting blocked. Alright, let's roll in on this one so we can hit this guy. Get some good speed. Yeah, I've heard good things about the Growling Sidewinder server, but like I said, I just I don't know if I'm ready <laughs> for a PvP scenario. I'm telling you, these guys on here are good. I I've seen them fly. 
and they are good. They know these aircraft like the back of their hand. Let's see if we can watch on the TV screen and see if we actually hit it. it takes a while because again, these bombs are glide bombs, so they're really slow. There's no rocket propeller or anything like that on it. Now we're about to fly out of the range. Yep. Let's turn back around. I think we hit it. I think we missed a boom though. Yep, we hit it. Dang it, we missed the freaking explosion though. Man, that sucks. Do they have the tutorials? Yes, they have in-game tutorials. And they also there's, there's also a lot of people in the community have, that have created really good tutorials as well. I actually recommend the YouTube tutorials over the in-game tutorials, even though the in-game tutorials are actually pretty good and they're interactive um, to do pretty much anything you want to do from starting up the aircraft to um, releasing different weapons and stuff like that. Uh, in the future, would me and XP72 do a long distance flight for Microsoft Flight Sim? Uh, never said nev never say never. Um, don't have any plans to do that. but. I know that both of us would definitely enjoy doing something like that. It just kind of comes down to scheduling time <laughs> to do something like that. A long haul flight in Microsoft Flight Sim is going to take a long time. Um, obviously, it's a long haul. It's minimum of six hours. Uh, do I fly the Mirage? I don't fly the Mirage myself, no. Am I using ATGM only? Uh, right now, yes. Uh, but earlier we did only air to air. But it's looking better now. We've got some help. We got like we had a, at least five planes flying along with us, uh, allowed us to kind of clean up the sky a little bit. Now I actually have some time to do some work here. This was our initial plan: was to go around and, and actually hit some ground targets, but we couldn't because. There was so many enemy aircraft. Man, my teapot is still blocked. Come on. And I don't usually like to get this close when doing this either, but because of the clouds being so low, I have to kind of, I have to do this. My teapot, I believe, is on the left side of the aircraft. Maybe I need to zoom out or something. Okay, there it is. Right, I gotta pick up something else before we lose it. Altitude. Altitude. What's that? Yeah, let's kill that thing. Alright, gotta lock. We'll pull off, we'll come back. We got a kind of a hole in the clouds. Let's use that real quick. But we're getting pretty close to the point of needing to go back and refuel. Watch out for white smoke trails going from the ground. We're flying right over the enemy base. We have 4,000 pounds of fuel remaining, which means we're going to need to refuel pretty soon. I'm going to use this gap in the clouds right here to get some altitude. Uh, by the way, the clouds are all dynamic, so they are moving. So you're not just going to permanently have a hole in the clouds. It's going to disappear pretty soon. But since we have it, let's use it. All right, we are... Are we in range? No. Let's turn in. No, we're still not in range. Okay. Oscar, what's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> hey, you thought iRacing was bad? Well, at least DCS isn't, uh, you know, <laughs> a subscription base. But yeah, it's kind of like that. I play iRacing too, and it's very expensive, especially when you're first starting out. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Do I prefer air to air or air to ground? I personally prefer air to ground, it's easier. <laughs> but air to air is more exciting. Do I have a lock or not? Do I have any more missiles? Let me check. Okay, I got uh, two more. Let me check something, because it's not giving me the cue I'm looking for. Station 3 and Station 7. Flight controls. Flight controls. Yeah. 
I don't know what's going on with my missile right now. Alright, we got a lock from something on the ground. We're gonna pull off. We're way too close. Way too close. I'm gonna flare. We'll pull back about five miles and uh and try again. Yes, air to air is very stressful. We, I'm gonna drop these two bombs and we have to go back to the carrier because I am very low on fuel right now. We're gonna hear bingo here in just a few seconds. Attack can 100 x ray on. That's where we're going. It's pretty far. I'm not sure if we can make it that far with 3,000 pounds of fuel. What is the worst air to air fighter to dogfight? Like against? Uh, man, uh, to me, honestly, like any of them, <laughs> it really depends more of who's flying it. Right, can I find another bigger target? Bingo. Bingo. There she is, bingo. Come on, stop blocking my camera. Is that one? Yep, that's a baddie. I'm zoom in. Zoom in! Block. Got it. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. I hear you. But you wouldn't want to be in the A-10 in a dogfight. That is a fact. You don't want that. All right, five miles out, we're gonna roll back in. We're gonna drop two more bombs and then head back to the carrier. Hopefully we can make it back with very little fuel. We'll only probably get one attempt to land based on how much fuel I have Bingo. right now. Bingo. You just bought my entire gaming setup on Amazon? <laughs> wow, well hopefully it works out for you. If you have any questions, seriously, hit me up on Discord. And that goes for anybody who's watching. If you have any questions about my setup or you know how to get into DCS stuff like that. Once we uh, end the stream, you could obviously drop to, drop that on the uh, as a comment on the uh, YouTube stream, or you can just hit me up on Discord, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, two bombs away. Hopefully they hit. I'm gonna pull off and head back to the Tacan One Zero Zero X-ray, which is a hundred miles away. There's no way we're making it that far. Oh, that's, that's gonna miss. Let's see, it might hit. Let's see. What are you aiming for? Bingo. Bingo. Oh, what is it? Oh, jeez. I think we hit something. I missed it. We missed the boom again. Dang it, man. Well, I think we hit something. One of the bombs hit something. So that's good. But we're completely Winchester now. No more bombs. I'm going to drop this tank and save us some weight. Alright, we're jettisoning that and let's head back and not do it in burner. So 106 miles away from the carrier with 2,000 pounds of fuel. There ain't no way. There ain't no way we're making it back that far. And the nearest tanker for air-to-air -air refueling is probably just as far. Let me check actually. If it's closer, we might have to do that. Oh, we're right in the middle. We're exactly in the middle from the tankers, which are way over here. 131. So yeah, the carrier is closer. Carrier is closer. Uh, PC specs. I have a um, uh, RTX 4090 with uh, an Intel i9 13,900 um, 64 gigs of RAM um, I think I have an MS, is it MSI? I can't remember if it's MSI Bingo. motherboard Bingo. but yeah um, if you're watching on YouTube at the very bottom of the description you can see um, the entire layout of my 
My setup, I also did a video last year of me building it. We are getting pinged. I don't like that. Who's chasing us? The F-14. He's too far. He's not going to catch us. There ain't, I, I don't think we're making it back, guys. This is about the time where I start writing a letter to my family. Bingo. Bingo. And let the people know, hey, send, send the Coast Guard. We're probably going to be landing in the water. I don't think we're going to make it that far. If you want range, you can see. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't see the range. Let's take a look at the range. Let's go to the F-Pass. Let's see how much range we got. I'm trying to get as high as I can in case we had to collide. So, optimum range at 43,000 feet. Bingo. Does that say Bingo. 208 miles? Is that what that says? Our current range, 140. That's good. We're 90 out. So we might make it. Endurance 17 minutes of fuel. And we'll land with zero fuel. And as I climb, it's showing that my range is getting better. So I'm going to try to get to 25 or so, and we'll put it on Bingo. Bingo. autopilot and just kind of coast from here. So right around there should be good. But things are not looking good. For us I'll be honest because it took us four attempts earlier to fail at landing on the carrier and this time we're gonna maybe get one if we get to the carrier all right so auto throttle is on barrel alt hold is on and we are on the way back to base <sighs> well I'm gonna relax for a bit what's up Shane welcome to the stream welcome aboard yes this game is called DCS world Wow, you're running the same setup for uh, iRacing? That's kind of overkill, huh? <laughs> How do you know to input all the information? YouTube tutorials. Oh, YouTube tutorials, man. That's how I learn how to fly the planes. That's how I learn how to play this game or the sim. Um, all YouTube tutorials, man. There's a lot, there's a lot of in-depth stuff that go into flying this aircraft. The flying part is not difficult at all, to be honest. Like, actually flying is really easy. Um, but managing all the systems and figuring out how figuring out how to use the different weapons and bombs and 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 waypoint and stuff like that like that stuff is where it gets a bit complicated once you learn it it's you know once you learn it it's not that bad right as anything else is Bingo. tom h is rt being yourself cool hopefully hopefully you make it back <laughs> matter of fact while we're cruising let me go grab the discord real quick let me go grab the Discord for our Matt, our um, JTF Mad Dogs DCS Squadron. Where is it? Rivals. Great invites. Copy. I'll drop yeah. this in chat right now. Yeah. Alright, there you go. And for those on TikTok, can I type in chat on TikTok? I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, if you want to just come over to YouTube, that's where the link is. Um, if you're on, come over to YouTube to get the Discord link, if you want it. All right, cool. Yeah, exactly. The weapon systems are the hardest part to learning how to fly this game. The rest is not, the flying part is not too difficult. Except for air to air fueling, that's really freaking hard. And landing on the carrier, apparently, is also really freaking hard. <laughs> As you can see, for me today. Uh, F-14 is a pretty difficult plane to handle, but it's a lot of fun. It's really, it's really uh, satisfying when you get it down. I know, ignore the low fuel, it's alright. I run on E all the time, nothing to worry about. You're right, air to air fueling in the 18 isn't too bad. I guess when I said really hard, actually, honestly, when you first starting DCS, air to air fueling even in the, in the F 18 is really difficult. Um, it didn't click in my head until much, much later. Um, doing it in the F 16 or anything that has the tank behind you, like the F 15, is really difficult. I think the F 15 for me is the hardest right now to do air to air fueling. 
it's also like so sensitive on the controls too. Thank you, Rob, for coming over from TikTok. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Appreciate you so much. Can we do an aileron roll duper? Bro, I actually would love to do one for you right now, but we are extremely low on fuel and I can't afford to make any sudden movements. Uh, we have 58 miles to go to get back to the aircraft carrier and we have 1,000 pounds of fuel. I'm looking at the range on my right screen. It's showing that we can make it 97 miles if we're at this exact throttle setting for the next 11 minutes we have 11 minutes worth of fuel it's saying um so we should make it but it's gonna be really close because we have to then obviously enter the pattern and get onto the deck and i'm gonna freaking smash it down um i can't afford to miss or bolter uh dad gamer i'm using the thrustmaster t uh sorry thrustmaster warthog hotas is what i'm using for my flight controls and i have the tpr pedals rudder pedals you have to pay for fuel? No, you don't have to pay, pay for fuel. You guys pay for that in your taxes. <laughs> I should say I pay for it too. Uh, I do have the Apache. I flew the Apache with the rest of the boys last Sunday. A lot of fun. We have a really cool mission in the Apache, like an escort mission with the Black Hawk. That's really dope. Yep, we ain't got no more tries, Tattoo Bacon. No more tries, man. Thank you for understanding, Duper. Oh no, what are we getting pinged by? MiG-21 at our... Uh, what was that? 8, 7 o'clock? He's close. Oh no. Oh no! He's on top of me! They're shooting at me! Oh, this is the worst thing that could freaking happen. I, if I gotta die, I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you with me. Alright guys, we're not making it back to the carrier. There he is. Bingo. Bingo. Uh oh, he's got a lock. Must be guns only, because he hasn't launched a missile at me yet. We're at 5,000 feet Altitude. above the water. Altitude. This is not how I was planning for this to end. Where'd he go? Bingo. Where'd he go? There he is. Bingo. Oh, this is not good. 700 pounds of fuel. Switching to AMRAMs. Sorry, uh, to Sidewinder. I'm just going to pull up. There's two of them! Oh, I got a backup! I got a friend! There's an F-18 right there. Alright, just pull the top gun. <laughs> just pull the top gun. <laughs> Where'd he go? Bingo. Bingo. I know I'm bingo. We're stalling. I lost him, guys. I freaking lost him. This is why I should've been paying attention to the... SAP. I think we're good. I think the Hornet that was here took him out. Four hundred pounds of fuel. We're forty-two miles away. Bingo. Bingo. Where is he? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Nope, no we're not. Who's that? Is that a friendly or no? Nope, that's a MiG-21. Bingo. Bingo. What do you guys prefer? Should we go for a swim or just straight up die? 100 pounds of fuel, that's it, we're done. We, we can't go any farther, we gotta eject. We gotta eject. Yep, we're out. That's it. We are out. <sighs> this is how it ends, guys. This is how it ends.
Just me sitting there. What about parachute though? Am I gonna get a real parachute? Y'all gonna give me a real parachute? That's upside down. It's the other way around. Uh, DCS? Parachute, please? Government cutbacks. <laughs> they gave me this little bitty parachute. There's my plane falling. Oh, there it is. Finally. Gosh. I was like, are they really going to let me just die out here, man? Oh, my God. Right, great view of the ground coming in my seat here. <laughs> Joe Biden packed my shoot. <laughs> no, goose. Oh, yeah, physics left the chat. Well, guys, I mean, this is where it ends for us. Uh, we have to call the search and rescue out here. We're still about 40 miles north of the carrier. I got to send a few boats out. There's the enemy flying over us right now. Yeah, so there was two of them. And that's actually a friendly F-18 trying to come uh, as backup. So he's trying to help us out. He's in a merge. So I can get a view on them as they're fighting. Oh, he's double teamed. Oh, no. Oh no. Dogfight view. You got this man. He came to my rescue. You got this. Oh, is that what it was? I mean, we were. We. It waited until I was in breathable air. Interesting. Come on, you got this. Fire! Fire! Send it! Alright, he's breaking the other way. Don't forget, there's two of these guys. There's one behind them, too. They got them double teamed. There goes. I think he just lost a missile, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he has no missiles. So he's guns only. Here he comes. This is his, this is his chance. Is he going to lose him in the clouds? Bro, you get him. Get him. Do it for me. Do it for me. In memory of blue. I think I was a hit. I was, I was a, uh, come on. Yep, he, oh, he crashed. He crashed into Duke. Oh, with the kamikaze move, went in for the high five. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you know what, that's okay. May knock us down, but we'll be back. We'll be back. And next time, I'm bringing more people. And more guns. More missiles. And, and most important, more skill. I'm going to do some practice before our next stream, hopefully. Or we might just fly the Apache. I don't know. We'll see what we do next. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys have an amazing Friday um, or Saturday if you're in Australia. And uh, this was a fun. Again, this is called DCS world it is available on steam for pc users only uh, i believe it is windows only as well um and it's a lot of fun been playing it for years and i really really do enjoy it so we can spectate anybody else on the map while we say goodbye let's see anybody else flying around here's a hornet out here mr tom mr tom h rtb we'll spectate him but yeah it's good times good fun Pro Aviator, if you guys are watching right now, just jump in chat. Let me know where you're watching from so I can give you some love. I'll give you a quick shout out before we head out. Drop in the chat starting now. Sincere, thank you so much, man. Fires, appreciate you as well. Henrico, Pro Aviator, thank you guys for the uh, wisdom and words. Carl, thank you so much. Royal 10 from Ohio. Devin Lumsert, welcome, appreciate you so much. Sam representing Australia. Is the MiG-15 in DCS? I don't know what the 15 is. I know the 21 is. 
Um, thank you, Dala. Appreciate you so much. This is my name from Indianapolis. Williams from South Carolina. Uh, who is that? The Duper from Savannah, Georgia. Tattoo Baker from Chicago. Fires represent his house over in South Carolina. Could you get a squadron Discord link? Yeah, let me drop that real quick. Uh, Dominator Bongia from Brazil. Batman from Ireland. Thank you so much. King from South Africa. Nigeria is Dilo. Future president is in Michigan. Thank you so much. Let me get that link for you real quick. Uh, tattoo. Again, uh, we do have a DCS squadron. Uh, it is... Um, you do have to apply to get in. Uh, we need your social security number, your last name, your address, zip code. I'm just kidding. No, we don't need any of that. But you do have to apply. We just ask you a few questions about you and your, your skill level and DCS. And then after that, we have a check ride that you can run. It takes about an hour. Basically, make sure you can do air to air refueling. Make sure you can do carrier landings. I need to redo it myself because I failed in my carrier landing today. Um, make sure you know how to you know handle the aircraft, flight formation, things like that. Um, just kind of trying to keep it standard for the JTF Mad Dogs. And then you get access to deliveries and, and access to the missions and the rest of the server. But uh, yeah, Simon and Yudin from the UK, thank you so much. Uh, maybe we will see you on the Oval. You probably will. I will definitely be doing some iRacing later today. Um, I do race on Oval and in the rain on iRacing as well. Devin Hooplet, thank you so much from the Netherlands. Jose representing California. <laughs> But that's my time for today, guys. Again, I'm going to drop that link. Let me get the link real quick. Here on YouTube again. This link is going to be on the YouTube chat. Uh, for some reason, I can't type in the TikTok chat. There we go. And you guys should be getting the link right there. The clouds do look really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of the best clouds in Flight Sim are in DCS World. Absolutely. Well, guys, that's it for me. Until next time. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. Headphones on for a little bit of DCS F18 ASMR. I'm out. Turn the sound up. Crank it up. All right, Tommy, let me see those burners. <laughs> it gave me chills. Delicious. Hit me with the outro. If it's gonna work today. There it is. <laughs>